Hello, hello. Greetings, my friends. Swifty Kitty, Miss Cat, Lolly Fan T, Mr. Cannon, Blue Flame, The Blue Flame. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yo, Miss Cat, you spammed GG like three times. But you're almost at a thousand hours, which is crazy. Isn't that crazy? You spent a thousand hours of your life wasting it away here. Seduce me. Oh man. Oh man. Mr. Funk. Calm down. <laughs> Super Seducer. Are you guys excited? <laughs> Canon, I'm pretty sure it passed a thousand hours. Pretty sure it passed a thousand hours. Yeah, you're at sixteen hundred hours, which is crazy. Absolutely nuts. Blue Flame, you're at two thirty nine. By the way. 239, which is so respectable. Anyone who gets over 200 is a super goo wheel. You win the prize of being super. That was your second reset. Sixteen hundred hours, not even twenty five K ribbons. <laughs> Cannon, that's cause you don't actually click the, 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 the chests. Come on, dude. They click the chests. Get all those ribbons. Mr. Funk, how you doing, by the way? How you doing? Are you okay? Are you safe? The safest of safe. Oh yeah, your condo, your condominium. Condominium. It's a fun word to say actually. Okay, I guess we'll I guess we'll get started. I guess we'll get started. <laughs> You're playing this amazing game. Welcome back to Super Seducer 2. Last time we got through the first five chapters, and yeah, I guess we're just gonna go with chapter six, first date Alexa. Isn't that that's that's who this girl was, right? Whoa. It's like a continuation. Your day game approach resulted in a coffee shop date. There isn't any music or alcohol, so will your charm be enough to make her attracted to you? Goal kiss. Oh my god. First date. It's not first date ever. Oh man, here we go, here we go. 
Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Jesus nice. Christ. Good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's very loud. <laughs> oh, look, the, the audio reset because I did Windows Update. Nice. Thanks, Windows Update. You look great. Thank you. So do you. A little, little bit loud. So. <laughs> Cheers. We'll take a seat. I ordered you some tea. Thank you. you That's like perfect. Tea, right? I do. I mean, you're not English, Wait, they kiss? I'm sure, I'm sure you drink tea too. I still like tea. I wasn't even paying attention because I was like trying to fix the audio. Okay, do we have to like... Is this necessary? Look at all the skin she's showing Oh, guys. so how have you been? Good. Busy. Yeah, busy? Yeah, work. Mm -hmm. It's been overwhelming. You told me, what was it you said? You said you work in a charity or something, but I yeah. don't know what it is. What, <laughs> uh, what non-profit, animal shelter, doing cat rescues. Okay, okay. First choice of the day, guys. Um, Tell her about the time you tortured a cat. Oh my god, Alinity. The Alinity answer, yes. Oh, uh, cat shelter. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting because... You might have met some some cats that I've been in contact with. Really? Um, yeah. Was there? Did a cat come to you? I don't know, like six weeks ago. Or so, like a ginger one with white spots. Mm, we get that? lots of those. Yeah, I guess. Well, <laughs> this is so funny, right? Me and some friends, um, we were just out and you know bored like you are. And there's this cat like in my neighbourhood. I often see it. it's very friendly, sure. like yeah. this ginger one. And it came up to us like that, right? And we were taking it, like playing with it. But then we decided we'd tie a little rope around it and um, attach fireworks all along. Ooh, <laughs> so that's funny. so And like then just up. lit it. And it was like, What? It like, just went mental. Actually, I've got a video. I'll show no, you. No, you're joking. No, it was phenomenal. Look, wait. It's one of the funniest it things I've phenomenal. ever seen. It was phenomenal. Where is it? There We're is already starting shirt. off great, Where? guys. See him. Oh my god! You see no! Him? How, how could you do that to a cat? He trusted you, he came Wait, up no, to you! This no, 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 I don't want to see it. You're terrible. What do you mean? No, you're absolutely fucking terrible. I'm, I'm gonna call the cops. It likes it, no. I think. No, no, no. I'm gonna call the cops. His face in the is game, like, that's cool. In yep. real life, totally illegal. This is a bit too far. Be nice about cats and about her. I do not prefer dogs. We we love cats around here. I'm just saying. A cat shelter, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. So <laughs> you're just doing that, and I guess you don't get paid. Like, it's not cool in the game. Work, you know? No, it's very small and usually, usually actually free. Very um, cool. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. It helps helps out a lot. So you love cats, and you just decided to do something. <laughs> yeah, I love all animals, but uh, cats <laughs> here need more Miss help. Miss Cat. That's great. I'm so, sure people love you for we're that. We're talking too. about you. Some people. <laughs> most people like cats. I like cats. Yeah, do you? Yeah. That's good. Do you have any? No. <laughs> <laughs> then you, should, you should stop by, and I can maybe help you find one. Okay. Well, actually, I travel a lot, so it's, it's, not, it's not good, but okay. I can come by and just, you know, play with them and whatever and then that would be nice cool i love cats when someone does something oh, like yes. this you know charity something that they really care about don't tease it don't take the piss don't be rude about it connect on it. so what does your work entail there you like you know holding a ball Hello, of string Mr. all day playing with the cats no <laughs> serious stuff that's part of it but um actually we do transports nationwide mm. so if the shelter is full then we find someone who can take it elsewhere in the country to save its life. Um, okay. That's actually the reason it's been really busy is a cat I had adopted. I lost him. So you lost him? He's, yeah, he's been adopted and I opened his cage and he ran out. Um, and I don't really know how to tell the people. So he's like somewhere in the building? Or yeah, could hopefully. Be anywhere. <laughs> it could be anywhere. <laughs> he may have found his way outside. But um, I don't know how to tell the people. So maybe you have an idea? That's kind of awful. <laughs> Class is in session. The cleavage of good choices. Yes, yes. Advise her to buy a cat that looks the same. Tell her to be dishonest. Ooh. Ooh. We should tell the truth, guys. We gotta be... We gotta, we gotta tell the truth. We gotta be honest people, right? Right? We're honest people. Well, you know what? I think you should just tell the truth because it's always my philosophy that nothing bad can happen as long as you tell the truth. So what? I think you should own up to it. Well, yeah, okay. I think you're right. 
If you yes. can show good moral fiber, why Cleavage. not, right? It's a good thing to do and it makes you look good. And at the same time, giving her some good advice. Um, I actually don't think you told me what you do. Oh yeah, I didn't, did I? No. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Boring truth. <laughs> Braggadocious. <laughs> what? I'm one of the top 10 real estate brokers in the country. I just sold a property to Donald Trump for 1 billion, 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 billions, and billions, and billions, and. Oh, no. I run an obedience school for small pets, hamsters, and gerbils. Should we be, like, total douchebag? Let's be total douchebag. You don't know? I thought you would have checked, you know, Googled me or something. No. Because <laughs> no? I'm in the news at the moment because uh, I'm one of the top real estate brokers in the country and just closed wow. a billion dollar <laughs> deal with the Trump, Donald. The Trump. Really? Yeah. Big stuff. You like it? <laughs> the well, Trump. I like, I like money. Yeah. He's got money. He's so I guess I like him. In. Well, real estate's real estate, right? I'd probably sell something to Saddam Hussein or... Oh, uh, uh, you. Osama bin Laden if they, if they were still <laughs> with us. That's a little concerning, God, God but uh, I guess if you're good with business... Why would you ever sort of say sense. that? Yeah. I mean, money's money, Why? right? And let's imagine I get this billy from Donald Trump and then I give it all to charity. Right, give it to a cat shelter. Then it makes me makes you, it good, right? Deal. Um, deal. Bring money to the cat shelter. I can give some money to the cat okay. shelter. Then it's fine. Five dollars <laughs> or something, but that's something. <laughs> something. Okay. Give a little back. Sure. Lies will get you into trouble, and unless you move very very fast, you're going to get caught out. And even if you don't get caught out, it's a recipe for disaster. So if you're not satisfied with where you are in life, work to change that so that you never need to lie. So what do you do outside of work? Don't lie, guys. Um, don't lie. What do I do? So I do some fitness stuff and I study languages. Great. And what else? I've, I play chess as well. I don't know how to play chess. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't know oh how the pieces God, move. Oh my God, five IQ. Well. I can move them, I just don't know. The you know I don't know how to called? move the, like, the horsey. The horse <laughs> oh yeah, they always mention the horsey, yeah, dude. Yeah. Rook or castle, rook? Yeah. I know some. Okay, well it's quite easy to learn. Did and she it's just really, call the horse a rook or did I misunderstand cool that? My mum bought me a chess set and then Great. I thought, okay, it can't just sit there, I'm going <laughs> to learn how to play. Cool, you have to teach me. Mm-hmm. And what else? They I always like, mention the horsey. Um, they I like do. It's very actually my major hobby. The really? thing I spend the most time doing is photography. Oh, that's great. Why, why do you like it? Extra money? Well, we, we, we lied about having millions of money, so I don't think we can, do, we can say that. Well, actually, there was this time when I just uh, borrowed a friend's camera. You know how to make an L shape? Yes. I'm doing it right it. now. And then, Everywhere I was forehead. going, I was looking at things and thinking, oh, that would make a nice shot, that forehead. would make a nice shot. I uh, took some pictures of friends and, you know, they all used it as their Facebook profile pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a headshot. Yeah, so That's I just, cool. I just really got into it. And I guess I, I might have some talent, so, you know, I keep it, but it's just Blue a hobby. Blue flame I'm not always gives the wrong seriously. answers. Well, it sounds like you're having fun. That's, yeah. that's great. Take your picture if you like. Do you like having your picture <laughs> taken? <laughs> sure, yeah, we could try. Cool. I, I could use a new profile photo. What about yep, a yep. nude picture? When you have something Ooh. that you like doing, why not be a little bit passionate about it? Tell her why. Try and, you know, get that infectious emotion spread to her. So, yeah, that's the right answer. So, I that's actually right do photography on. too. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Okay. Um, what camera do you use? Uh, it's a Canon 5D Mark III. It's a good one. It's better Stop than mine. reading your oh, mind. Yeah? What do you have? <laughs> I'm iPhone. sorry. I'm sorry. And, yes, in an iPhone. Um, but I use a 40D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually uh, got into photography because I modeled. I okay. kind of still do a little bit here and there. Dang, she's a model, guys. Hand modeling? Be very impressed. Does that mean if I give you some money, I can take pictures of you in lingerie? Lingerie? Every time you beat me to my joke. Well, you see, I'm always first around here, so that's just how it works. I thought I saw you on deepthroat.com. Wait, why is the I not capitalized? Guys, come on.
Let me tell. Oh my god. <laughs> what are these answers? <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's go over the deep throat. The deepest of throats. I don't know. We'll probably Honestly, get both of them, want, actually. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, right? But, you know, you, you mentioned it first, so I guess Hello, we can. Hello, Sahara. I definitely saw you on, on a Sahara. website. You know, Sahara you do have your Ice, campaigns and is. videos and different things in different places. Yeah, there's a portfolio on there. Yeah, I think there was this video on Pornhub. What was it? No. I don't remember. Like, Someone that looked like me, deep maybe. Deep throat, something, but. Deep throat, yeah. no. Something. It was you. certainly definitely not you. me. Don't, don't be ashamed. Come on. No, 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 no. It just wasn't me. It wasn't me. Okay. It wasn't you. Wow. But just so you know, like, you sure can suck a dick. Oh, my God. Oh Fuck you. Oh, my God. Where are you <laughs> going? Disgusting. Let's make some movies. Let's make some movies. You dirty little bugger. Hello, Gothi Chippy. Is this a sex game? Um, no. <laughs> it's really interesting that you said that. Um, let me tell you what I think about that. Hell. Okay. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> what? That's disgusting. Is any joking? No. 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 Hang on a minute. You're still too slow. I might need to go to fix this in the bathroom. Right, I'll be back. <sighs> okay, that is <laughs> actually disgusting. <laughs> I know it's so hard sometimes, but just try and hold it in there as long as you can. Please don't do that ever. <laughs> the most cringe of my life. Oh my god. Okay, let's... Oh man. <laughs> it's hard work, but can be interesting, right? You bet this scene actually helps someone somewhere. She's definitely not going to like this picture, or this one. But people want to see it. Oh man, okay, whatever. So you do modeling and I take pictures, so maybe I could take your picture sometime. Yeah, it's not yeah, something I've chosen and you not do, each like, like, It's part uh, of the right system. Shots, bikini, no. this things. No, uh, bikini maybe, but they'd have to be very, like, classy. Um, how much money, like, I mean, because we could do it for fun, but I could also pay you. So if I gave you some cash, would you get your tits out, for example? No. No? No. Oh, we wow. haven't heard how much yet. Well, what about it seriously? 400? No. It's an ethics thing. I, no, I'm not interested. And I could sign something that is not going to be on my website, like girlsivebang.com. So for your personal use, you want yeah, photos just for of me use. naked? Yeah, yeah no. personal just use. Just for my Absolutely personal... Not. No. Yes. Good luck finding someone. You should maybe check Craigslist. Craigslist, yeah. you say? And what, what do I search for? Mm. <laughs> what would Not I search way to for? Do it. You want to offer just some normal photos. And when she's on the actual shoot, just try and get it a little bit more racy, step by step. Give her some drinks and see what happens. Okay, let's say, let's say E. Well, that's cool. Actually, I, you know, I know a lot about it through the photography, but right. it's quite hard work, isn't it, actually? Yeah. People think it's easy, you know, just sitting there having pictures taken. <laughs> yeah, there actually is a lot of hard work. You have to know all your best angles and, you know, Practice be able posing to... Practice posing and whatever. Yeah, and have emotion in your face. You can't just have a blank yeah. face, and that's actually much harder than people think. Especially at the end of a long day, right? You're tired yeah. and the lights are on and... And the shoes hurt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and they're horses, right? So, do, did Amen. you get to travel to any cool countries for, for mm, modeling? Never out of the country yet, but I've been to a lot of states and different cities. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, good. Well done. Now, think about how you can apply this as well in your life. Think about how, even if you're not connected to a subject, you can kind of learn how to be empathetic, empathetic, not pathetic, and try and put <laughs> okay. yourself in a position, uh, feel how they might feel, and what if think I'm being about pathetic why all the they time? would choose to do that. So, you know, that kind of thought allows you to have very nice connected conversations, and this is an example of it. 
I still don't understand why there's like half work, naked girls yeah, on the good answers. You do some yeah. photography, so yes. you're already pretty busy, right? Yeah. Do you have, do you have time for anything else? I like to hike a lot. I like to be outside, you know, being in the shelter and modeling, you're usually indoors. So mm -hmm. it's nice to get outside and I don't like being in the gym. So hiking is like my way of working. Yeah, it's out. very good exercise it is. and fresh air and all that as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But um, I also really like, you know, staying in sometimes and just like watching a movie. Oh, movies, okay. Mm -hmm. what's, what's like the best movie you've seen that you really love recently? I know it's recently? hard overall, so like Oh, it's recently. so silly. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure movie, but um, Jurassic World. Jurassic World? Wait, what is Jurassic World? I know Jurassic Park. You just want to talk? Is Mr. Arthur gothy chippy? Um... She, that shows she has a pee brain. <laughs> oh no. Let, let's, I, I gotta, I gotta see minute. what happens. Why, why did I invite you on a date? If you, if you like that, you've obviously got a pee brain. No. How can you like that movie? It's shit. Because it's silly. It's not supposed to be serious. But it's not entertaining. It's not funny. It's just dumb bullshit. Only an idiot. Why would like you even it. say on. that? Really? Yeah. Well. Then I don't Wait, know. What's your IQ? Did you have an IQ test? Or you couldn't you probably weren't even smart enough to click the button and say start test, yeah? You know, I Holy think uh, crap. I'm this gonna guy. stay here and finish my tea because I'm so stupid. And you should maybe go down the street to the library and find yourself a smart girl. Well, I don't even need to go to the library to find a girl smarter than you. You could find one, I don't know, like retarded mental institute. Probably. Jesus. Good. This is so hostile for no very reason. Dumb movie, but She's still a sweet girl, and she might have other good points other than her taste in films. So, a little bit harsh, wasn't it? Um, okay. I mean, is it a bad movie? I don't know. I've never seen it. Playfully teaser. Let's tease, guys. Let's tease. I can't believe you admitted that. You really like it? Yeah, I had to be honest, it's a guilty pleasure movie. And it was recent, you asked recent, it just came into my head. I don't know if it makes you look kind of dumb, or if it's, really? or if it's like honest and sweet, that, you know, cute that you like it. I hope honest and sweet. Probably, because I'll tell you, like one of my favourite movies is Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, oh, same, you like I it too? Silly. Yeah. But it's silly, it's the same. same Alright, nice one. Okay, cool. I like it. <laughs> is Predator a silly movie? No. <laughs> Barry, hello, hello, Notice Barry. Notice that this is playful. It's not insulting. So if you can find that perfect line where you're able to tease without hurting people, you can use it quite often. And there's an example. Good choice. So, what sort of movies do you like? I know everyone says it, but I do have a, a varied taste. So if you looked at my iTunes. Um, I've got foreign movies, you know, Korean, French, wow. uh, Spanish. A lot like, of subtitles. <laughs> yeah, lots of subtitles. I don't, I'm not scared of subtitles. And what else? I've got like the silly action movies, all the Schwarzenegger stuff, and then like the Panero, um, Panero. De Niro. <laughs> De Niro okay. and De Niro. It's like De Niro and Pacino. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that, hello, we can hello. use that for you the like very high you like doing? Yeah, like the mafia stuff, heat, right. you know, all of that. Anything so. recent? A uh, recent movie. Subs are better than dubs. You better be careful, Mr. Funk. That's a controversial opinion. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh my God. <laughs> um. Yes. I just find bondage really sensual. Oh no. I missed it at the cinema, but I just saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Hmm. Have you seen it? No, I heard it was bad. Uh, as a movie, it's bad. But you know what's cool? It's just all this stuff about. You know, tying girls up and having a little <laughs> dungeon in your house where you have all of the, you know, cringe, all the cringe. accessories and whatever. It's a little so. silly, a little over the top. Are you, I mean, is it too personal for me to ask, but you, are you into any of that stuff? At least, you know, blindfolds, handcuffs, mm. being tied up? Might be too personal for now. Okay. Well, I like it. <laughs> okay, but... Yeah, in the real world, don't it's too get personal. So well, so okay, far. I like it. Keep it chilled. Wait till you know. You know, I'm just saying. Up, I like it. And slowly, bit by bit. <laughs> oh no! 
It's okay, Barry. I understand. Watching the VOD. Oh, you like the VOD? My favorite movie is the one we'll make together in the bedroom. Oh, boy. That's obviously, like, the wrong answer, you know? This is the right answer. Ah, uh, but, you know, we gotta see what happens. We gotta see, what, we gotta see her reaction. Well, I'm thinking of a good movie, but it hasn't been made yet. Let me okay. tell you about it. Sure. The stars, me and you. Okay. The location, what would be good? Uh, like an all-white bedroom, you know, just everything white. And then what's going to happen? Well, I guess we'd start with some gentle kissing. Move oh, on to some man. Sucking and licking. Oh, my. Okay. And then take it from there. So, no, it's going to be great. You're joking. Some sucking and licking, Am I joking? guys. Do you want me to be joking? Then I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> I got you there, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> you, you did. You had me a little Saved. nervous. Yeah. Saved, guys. No, no, I, I'm not, I wasn't thinking of that. Just being silly. Yeah, so um, movies. Do you uh, want me to yeah, be joking? Like action movies. Basically. Yeah, I'm joking. Like, I'm actually, totally like, joking, guys. You know, Schwarzenegger. Only a little, though. Stallone. These kind Only of a little. action movies. Great. Okay, that's great. You know, if you do like filming movies, cool. But wait till you're in a relationship, or at least you've slept with her a few times. <laughs> it's, 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 a joke, it's a joke, guys. <laughs> I really don't have time for movies. I don't even own a TV. Life is about living, not sitting in front of a screen. Actually, I just threw my TV in the trash, and I, I don't really go to the movies. I think you that threw it in the you trash? Know, when it comes to all this, there's just more important things in life to do than sitting down watching something passively. Why don't you read a book? That's true. That's fair. I actually kind of like that answer. Good, good. This is an option, you know, where you've chosen to be a little bit right, there, guys. a little bit I'm straight the first and direct, too long. but then she's actually followed you into it and validated it. So it's quite risky, but when you take a big, you know, position like that and you can convince them to it, it's very attractive. And I like, you know, really talented actors, but... Sure. What do you think? Would you be a good actress? Could you, like, cry on call? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Are you a good that liar? sounds hard. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm really not. that's kind of connected, right? I can lie for, like, a minute, and then I feel really bad about it, and I admit it right away. Hmm. So I'm not sure if you'd be good, but do you have any other talents? Hmm. Mm, I play the violin. Yeah, really? Yeah. Wow. Since I was, like, five. And you that's still do impressive. it? You kept it up? Not as much as I should, but yeah. Well, that's impressive. Thanks. Hey, that's it's my hard. line. You want to impress her. Oh my, oh my. We're sitting passively watching Mia. That's true. You need to throw your, your monitor in the trash. Show her your dick. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we have to do it. We have to do it. We have well, to. Playing the violin is great, obviously. I, I don't know if I can compete I love with showing that people as my far dick. as uh, talents They're always go, impressed. I do have something that I think you're going to be impressed with. Like, okay. I'm just, I'm just sending you a picture. Do you have your phone here? No, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I left it in my I'll car. send it so you're going to have it to keep. Okay. But let me show you this. So I've just sent it to you. Oh my god! Yeah, I know, right? No, that's. Yeah. No. I thought he was going to take that's his pants okay. off. Ooh, it's very. What do you mean it's not okay? It's way above average. But 10 inches. Uh, 10 inches? You're dreaming. Um, and I'm wrong? leaving. What, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. You like small dicks or what? Jesus. How sweet. You gave her a lasting record. Okay. Uh, yeah. Your virgin ears. Ask her where she lives. Show off by showing what you can do with your tongue. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, violin takes a lot of practice, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And yeah, it does. I've got something I practice. Is every mine day 10 as inches? Well. It yep. is Let's 10 inches. Up. How did you know? <laughs> and then, uh, did you check my OnlyFans page? It took you a long time to learn. Well, it's practice, isn't it? So I could do it quite quickly, but now the muscle is just so strong, it, it never gets sure. tired. Ah, uh, which, oh. which is good for, this is for not speaking what I was all expecting. the languages. Yeah, you know, of course. Learning languages and course. rolling the R's and whatever. <laughs> good. 
don't come and think about things that you need to show a girl, tell a girl in order for her to like you more. She will actually like you more if you're cool and chilled and don't reveal these things as if you don't have to because you're already enough. And that's going to make her curious and make her work harder for you. The game told me to impress her. <laughs> Focus on the body language. Why do you love to torture yourself? Got the chippy. Not exactly. I just have a massive cock. You know, it happens. Her arms are crossed. What does it mean? Arms crossed means she's subconsciously thinking of hugging you. This is probably B. This is not an absolute rule, but in most cases it's correct, so well done. Why does she have writing on her arm? That's just, um, that's just, that's just the tattoo. You want to know if she likes you? You self-pity? Ew. Let's tell a lame joke. I want to hear the lame joke. Oh, can I tell you a joke? Yeah. I've got a brilliant joke. Um, okay, how does it go? What is red and smells like blue paint? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know, do you? No. Red paint. <laughs> yeah, that's good. What? Brilliant, right? I love that Absolutely one. brilliant. The lame joke is one right. One of the biggest Jesus. signs of interest that a girl can give is if she laughs at your lame jokes. Doesn't mean you need to consciously remember this lame joke and use it, but you can pay attention to, you know, moments where you think, hang on, she's laughing and I didn't really say anything funny. Yeah, don't worry, it means she likes you. So learn that lesson. And how about your family? Do they live do they live in the city as well? No, I moved away from home. Um oh, yeah? which is yeah, it's sad. I miss them. I miss seeing them. When did you leave? When you were like teenager, you ran away. <laughs> no. Rebellious teenager. No, for school. For school. And okay. then I just stayed here. But you get on well with your family, you don't hate yeah, them. Yeah, no, absolutely. I actually um I have a twin sister and we're very close. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. Three sometime. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her about your twin sexual fantasy. Hell yeah. Twins? Wow. Yeah. No way. That really gets me thinking. Because, yeah, I've got all of these, um, you know, fantasies. <laughs> and I didn't know you had a twin, so maybe... She's like, oh, yeah. here we go, so here we example, go. So, for example, like, when we're already having sex, like, obviously not now, because we've we met recently, but when we're having sex already and we're kind of dating, and then sometimes you could send your twin, and I don't know, what? and then I'm having sex with her, but then you come in, like, surprise, yeah. you're having sex with my twin, right. and can I join you as well? Yeah. And, like, I know, let's see which twin is better at giving blowjobs and then let's compare your asses are they identical and right. are your pussies identical yeah. and Jesus all of this stuff it's, it's gonna be brilliant I'm mm. so happy it just doubles how much I like you and yes. I already liked you a lot and this is actually just nothing new for me and it's rather boring so nothing I'm go new so how many call. times have you done it how many men have you <laughs> shared <laughs> what this is one of those cases where you don't say what you think so obviously if you meet a hot girl who's got a twin a normal man's gonna think very, very, very first thing. Need a threesome with those two twins. Is that what but the normal men that, do? So is that what it. you guys think? The it's first fine. thing, it's very, fine. very, very first thing. Man, I want to fuck her twin at the same time. <laughs> men only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. Um. Ask if they have a special bond. You like a twin because you hate most people, but you like yourself. <laughs> that's that's garbage. Let's let's ask if they have a special twin. bond. Twin, wow, yeah. that's really interesting actually. You know they do loads of studies on twins, don't yes, they? Yes, I do. Did, did they do anything on you, like psychological no. studies, psychic no. tests, or whatever? No, it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun though. Do you, do you have some, like, special bonds? Like, if I pinched you now, I won't do it, but, like, if I pinched you really hard, would she kind of feel it? Oh, my arm feels strange. I don't know. We could do it and I could text her if she felt something. <laughs> Try that later. Yeah. But you get on really well? Or you're competitive? We, like, we how's do. your relationship? No, we, we understand each other very well. We always know each other's emotions without having to say it.
That's very nice. So you have yeah. someone who's always like supporting you and who Definitely. understands you. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I think so. Well, that was a good answer. Now be careful of uh, falling into the dirty hello, guy Yona. trap. You didn't do it in this choice. It's hello, the right hello. one, order. So what about your family? I've got, I've got family. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't have any brothers and sisters, and people say I that makes family. me look selfish. You know, no, I don't think it? so. No, I don't think so. And I'm quite close to my mum. Uh, my dad's Italian, so hmm. I see him sometimes, but less often. And what else? I have five five children. What? Really? Yeah, but they don't live in the country. They're like all in different countries, so that's okay. You're joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no children and, and no wife. So. Okay, that's that's good. That's yeah. ideal. That's ideal. You want to increase the attraction. Um, okay. Say that you like kind people. Smoothly show her your D sar sar sar. Yep. You work in the shelter, but do you have mm -hmm. any cats yourself? I do actually, I have two. Oh, okay, tell me, tell me about them. Um, let's see, the one of them, he's actually really special needs. Hi, he's Mr. Morgan. He has asthma, he's allergic to like every food mm. in the whole world. Um, the other one's just really sweet and kind of general. Oh no, look what happened. Oh my god! <laughs> Game over, motherfucker. You blew it. Game over, motherfucker. Oh no, look what happened. Suddenly, my pants are down. Whoa, look at this, guys. <laughs> oh, no. Your ex-girlfriend is now dating Drake. What? A strength competition? You like kind people? I mean... <laughs> I kind of like the idea of his ex-girlfriend dating Drake. What part of that was smooth? It was so smooth. What are you talking about? It was like the smoothiest, you could say. Let's, let's so yeah, I'm Drake. close with my mom and, you know, my family. And actually, I keep in touch with some of my exes as well. I hope you don't think that's... That's weird. No, I do the same. Yeah, I was talking to one of my exes yesterday and she was telling me, like, uh, she misses me and stuff. Now she's dating Drake. Oh. And she's like, you know, you're much cooler and better <laughs> and whatever. But He's so you know, much that's, cooler that's than right, Drake. But, you know, good for her. She's in yeah. LA doing her modeling stuff. And sure. Whatever. You know, moving on is, is always good. She wasn't yeah. the one, so I had to just get rid of her and, you know, let Drake have her. Yeah, good for her. Unless she specifically asks... Who's I don't think Drake? this is something that you needed to reveal. So, do you go on many dates? <laughs> that is the worst line. <laughs> oh no. Can't stay long, some other chick is waiting. Not really, but she is special. A few. Maybe, let's be honest. We should be honest with our lives. But to be honest, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm single, so I go on a few dates. Sure. Um, but haven't met anyone special yet. I, 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 to be honest, I do have another date planned, like, this week. <laughs> I guess that's okay. <laughs> but, you know, what? We're not, we're not together like a couple right. yet, so I'm oh, not right. going to lie and say, oh, you know, well. I already know you're the one for me or whatever. <laughs> let's, let's take our time, and if, um, if we get serious, then, of course, you know, I'm a monogamous guy. I'll just be honest with you, I, I do have... Another date lined up this week, but... Well, thank you for being honest. Yeah, and you're really cool, so... Nice. <laughs> thank you for being exactly. honest. Exactly. Remember, honesty is the best policy. I mean, honesty you know, is the best policy. You think dating, it doesn't apply, but you can see here how being honest is refreshing and actually builds attraction. So try and be honest in cases where it won't hurt you like this. And what about you? Do you go on a lot of dates? His lines are always I mean, cut off at the say, end. I guess average, you know... Let's... What's average? 16 a week? <laughs> <laughs> For you, maybe, you know. Um, you know, a couple times a month, I guess. It's kind of hard dating in the city. Um, it's not exactly easy to meet people. Yeah. You know? Where do you meet them? Usually online or real world? Oh, I have tried the dating apps, but I don't like them. I like meeting people Game in design. real life. You, know, better, you get a better right? idea of, like, who they are. Yeah. You know? I mean, like, what kind of girls do you like?
describe the physical opposite. Describe her physically. I like big boobs. I like big boobs. Well, Everyone I like I like boobs. kind of. I do like big boobs.、Mm-hmm. You know, small boobs are okay, <laughs> but I kind of like like a handful. So let me just measure up. Oh, fucking pig!、What? Oh my god! Ah,、oh, you deserved that one, didn't you? Just describing the physical makes it look like you're a guy that just wants sex. In any case, so try and describe some more integral characteristics. Fucking pig. Well, he just said, "Don't describe her physically." So let's get the right answer. So for me, the most important things are that she's kind, thoughtful.、Uh, I like intelligence and curiosity. You know that she's interested in finding out new things.、Sure. That she can talk about different subjects. I guess, I guess for me, that's the the most important stuff. It's a good list. Very good. By focusing very on the good. non-physical, well, look at that. I'm very that good. You're a serious guy. Now, if that's what you want、Who、to show,、knew? that's the、I'm、way the to do it. It shows that you thought about what kind of girl you need in your life, and it's more than just blonde with big boobs. And tell me, what kind of men do you like?、Mm, tall, dark, and handsome. Typically, normal. Really outdoorsy.、Um, mm-hmm. I guess maybe、uh, he can be husky sometimes. Kind of looks like a lumberjack, maybe. Okay. Looks like a lumberjack. Yeah, the flannel. You are very good. Oh, thank you, Miss Cat. Thank you. You have a checked shirt and walked in the park. Don't you like men in suits? I may not be a lumberjack, but I definitely have some foreign hardwood for you. Yep. <laughs> I might not be a lumberjack, but I do have some, you know, English hardwood for you. Wow, <laughs> that's cheesy. That's cheesy and kind of gross. Is it cheesy? Yeah. yeah, there's not hardwood in English. It's like tropical, isn't it? Brazilian hardwood. What? <laughs> I don't、yeah. know. So like English, just English wood, run of the mill. <laughs> average. <laughs> well, no, not average. Special, special, special. Anyway. All right. That's just uncalled for. I have some hard wood right here, guys, in my pants. Brazilian hardwood. Chop trees and have some axes. Let's let's say we walked in the park with a checked shirt. Hello, Kelly. This is an amazing. I wish you'd said earlier. I've got、game. this、uh, plaid shirt, and what do I? I mean, lumberjacks have beards.、So、I've got the、mm-hmm. beard.、Um, what else? Outdoorsy. I mean, yeah, I like the outdoors. I was walking in the park, you know, earlier,、sure. um, like two weeks ago. I went for a walk in the park.、So、like two weeks ago. That's cool. I, I think pretty similar to what you described. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. No, you're falling into the trap of、uh, getting emotional and reacting to the challenge and trying to match up. It's not what you should do. You need to、Darn. be cool with who you are. And later, if you do that, guess what? Her type will be you. So tell me, what music do you like? Well, you know, play the violin. So I do like classical,、um, but I like classic rock too. I like a lot of eighties, Michael、okay. Jackson. That's cool. Do you <laughs> like、uh, rap music? I like rap music.、Um, yeah, a bit. I'm not as familiar with it though. Hi, Solaris. Hi. Be cool with who you are. It's a very positive thing, you know. Super positive around here. She mirrors your posture. What does it mean? She's feeling attracted to you. Oh man. After ten, fifteen minutes of speaking to a girl, if you notice that your postures are kind of matching. And she、uh, she followed your lead there. Then it means that she's very comfortable, relaxed with you, and probably attractive. I think it's important to know what people want, right? Yeah. So it's good that I think it's maybe a personal question, but I'm glad that I'm glad we, that we both know what <laughs> each other likes. Yeah, I think so. Tell her she needs to sleep with your friends if you date. What? <laughs> Tell her that you prefer dating bisexual women. Tell her you only date girls that meet a minimum booty threshold. <gasps> what? What even is this? Both of these are like they're probably both wrong. Do you know the rapper Gucci Mane? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. What is it? He says, uh, diamonds on my bezel haven't got room in my schedule unless booty like jello. So that's kind of my philosophy to life. So can I just check if you match? <laughs> Basically, let me just compare your butt to... No. If you can fit in that, then I'm not really interested. So can, can we just check quickly? Just you, can, for a second. you can check as I'm leaving. Just How's put that your do? booty... Come, come do here, not then. touch me. How can I check? Mm. <laughs> Shout out to Gucci Mane, and um, why not? But don't do it. But why not? Booty but like jelly. Don't do it. Why not? But don't do it. Why not? But don't do it. Okay, um... <laughs> let's sleep with my friends. Like, there's something I think we should cover before we go any further. It's, it's very... I have, like, specific things that I look for in a girl, like I told you. Sure, yeah. Um, but there's one other thing, which is that... Um, I've got really good friends, I'm really close to them and I like, you know, sharing with them and stuff. So if we get together, really from time to time, I just want you to sleep this with my is friends. So what? You know, there's one, uh, Mahmoud, who's a very oh, nice no, guy, not this my friend guy again. Alex, and all oh, lovely Mahmoud. guys, you're going to like them. I mean, you, you know, you can say, but I'm sure you will like them. And just from time to time, you know, I'll be watching from a cupboard or whatever, and you just need to... No. There's nothing to... No. Think, well, think about it a little bit, and wait, okay. until, wait until you meet them. I'll wait think about it, and them. I'll get back to you. In okay, the meantime, cool. there's a good street corner you can maybe find a girl like that. Street corner? What's it, which street is it? <laughs> which street is it? Now, although we really should believe that it's bros before um, girls... You don't need to bring Mahmoud and Alex into your sex life, you know? It should be between you and the girl. At least to begin with. At least to begin with? Okay. Sex is very important. Are you good in bed? The right answer is probably like, maybe A. I mean, D, not A. I don't know why I said A, but yeah, this one. Probably because it started with an A. What did he just say? Yes, at least to begin with. I just, I just want to see. I want to know. Usually, I can tell just by watching a girl and the way bed. she moves. Mm. But, but with you, I'm not quite sure. So tell me, like, how are you in the bedroom? Are you? Have you got some moves? Really? Yeah. Oh. Come on, it's a bit of fun. Like, how would you rate yourself out of ten? I don't know. Um, we should. Um, imagine I called your we ex should try and I'm like, it. tell me, how is she in the sack? I mean, I've never been dumped. Is that a fair answer? Never been dumped. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty good to me. All right. This is not bad. A little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Maybe a little that was bit a little too bit much for a first date. More passive um, than I thought bad. it was going to be. And brave. I'm having a nice time. Lean forward and kiss. You look like you're imagining kissing me. I want to kiss you, but can you chew this gum first? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I don't think I've ever been in love before. <laughs> we gotta we gotta give her the gum. Listen, I, I, I just really wanna kiss you right now, but first do you mind do you want a uh, bit of gum? <laughs> I mean your choice if you wanna have some. Is it bad? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, did you maybe have no. some? <laughs> no, I just had the tea that you got. Okay, well that's okay. Well, here's, here it is if you want it. What an asshole. Thanks. Oh, Vito. That's just rude, man. What an asshole, dude. I'm having a nice time. Can I kiss you? Can I kiss you, my lady? Can we hold hands? Mmm. Wait, what is Vito? I don't get that. I don't know what that means. You look like you're imagining kissing me. Okay. That sounds kind of... You know what? You've got that look in your eye. Like what? Like you're imagining kissing me. Really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, you imagine it, won't you? Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> this is a PUA routine. <laughs> Probably okay, not. But as with all the PUA stuff, it's better to be natural than to use this. But if you have to use it, it's alright. Chad mode. 
Dude, I'm a Casanova again. When someone does something like this, you know, charity, 66. something that 66. they really care about, don't tease it, don't take the piss, don't be rude about it, connect on it. <laughs> if you can show good moral fiber, oh, why man. not, right? It's a good thing to do. We and got rejected, we didn't even get kissed. And at the same time, giving her Feels some good bad. advice. Lies will get you. Let's go to the next one. Mia Nova. Okay. <laughs> Interesting, like, music choice. How will you approach her? Follow her for a few blocks. Yeah, let's just stalk her. Ah, the creepy stalker choice, <laughs> following her. Don't do it. Um, if she won't stop and she won't talk to you, that's it. On to the next one. Fine. <laughs> Yep, nice one. You definitely want to be in front and you want to pay attention to the amount of space between you because you want to leave enough room for her to comfortably slow down and stop. A sub is better than dub. Dude, we were just talking about... Got the chippy. We were just saying... We were just talking about that earlier. Um, let's see. How will I get her attention? Pick her up literally. Yep. Yo, hey, excuse me. Yeah? Hang on a second, look over there. Is that a fox in those trees? What? What Have do you mean? What? <gasps> Don't touch me! Let go! Kidnapping! What are you doing? <laughs> Why not? You're weird, Come though. back. <laughs> Literal kidnapping. I'm pretty sure this is illegal. It's also very dangerous. Um, you could get hernias, many different spinal disorders, <laughs> and she could beat you, so don't do it. Um... If I didn't come over here and say, hi, I'd be kicking myself all day. I must say that you have the most sexy walk. Oh, man. Well, this one's, like, obviously wrong. You can't just ask for a number instantly. You could get pepper sprayed in the face. True. Hey, excuse me. Hang on a yeah. second. Just got to tell you, you've got one of the most sexy walks I've ever seen. Um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, Women thanks? Think that men what? How is that an okay answer? And although it's true, as we know, it's best not to bring that up, especially in the opener. If you're going to give her a compliment, then try to make it a little bit less sexual. I'm Richard, by the way. I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And what are you up to today? I'm going to meet a friend now. Hang on a second. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Okay, that's good. And look, I hope you don't mind me asking, but we're in a park, yeah? Right. And you're wearing heels and a dress. What's that about? <laughs> I just had an interview. Oh, yeah? Looking for a job? Yes, I am. No, what else would she go to an interview for? <laughs> Men only want one thing. Sexy walks. Guess that she was looking for a job as a stripper. That's so rude. That's so mean. So, I gotta do it. Hmm, what job could you have? I'm gonna guess. Okay. Uh, stripper. Oh, how dare you? How could you think I, right? I look like a stripper? Your mom looks like a stripper. My Damn. Mom. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit, but. Maybe a little bit. Now, just because we love strippers, we can't project. Your mom the looks like a stripper. <laughs> Especially this one who looks so sweet and unstripper-esque. Unstripper-esque. Ask why she doesn't... Why she doesn't you just find... Mm, okay. A rich man and not work. Say you're sure she'll get the job. Mm, okay, okay. She seems very sophisticated, guys. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll get the job because, you know, you seem very elegant and I don't know why, you seem very intelligent I'm quite well. unstripper-esque. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Nice Fung. to hear. It's nice to hear. Quite weak in this oh. case, quite deferential, not the Apparently, best I, I, got, I got the weak answer. You said you just had an interview over there. What yeah, was right. that? Um, just in the restaurant over there. Ah, there's the restaurant right on the park, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. That's quite a fancy one. That's yeah, it is. That's a pretty good place to work. I like it. 
Hmm. And is it, I think it's Italian food, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it's right? Italian, Mediterranean cuisine and stuff. Well, that's good, because it's very tasty. But for me, I don't know, if I worked there, and yeah. if they had free food, I'd just be, I don't know, psh, like, getting oh, huge. Really? Yeah, you need that's to find out problem. if they have free food. Yeah, there. getting oh, huge really? in the pants, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Say that you know the bosses of a few restaurants. Transporting drug. Oh, we're going back to the drugs thing, huh? Let's go. Actually, I've just had a thought. Which hmm. one? You'd be perfect for this because of the way you look when you're a young girl. You just for, need for one what? more thing. Well, I'll tell you, do, do you have a car? Yes, I do. Okay, well, I need someone to drive because I had someone right. working for me and then now they can't anymore. Okay. But basically, you just need to drive across the border like a couple times <laughs> a week and just meet my friends and they can, they're sending me some things regularly. You just bring it back into the country. What? Very simple and quite a big money. What do you couple, mean? A couple Gs a week. I mean, what do you mean? Um, just, have you seen the movie Transporter with Jason Statham? Jason oh, Statham? By driving less fast. You mean drugs? Well, you don't need to know what you're driving, do you? Like, you're just, oh, I'm driving a car. I don't know. I'm a girl. You must have definitely taken some of your stuff to be discussing <laughs> that with me. Well, not today. You know? I did Bye. last night, but... I did last night. Unfortunately, she declined my offer. So if you're watching this and you do have a vehicle, then um, get in touch. Maybe we sort something out. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Suggest she works for you cooking and providing other services. Maid waifu? Well, I've got an idea, right? I like food. Okay. And you're kind of in the industry. Yeah. So how about you come um, and cook for me a few times a week and I'll pay you, obviously. Okay. And then the job could come with certain benefits. Oh, well. What say you? Um, I can see what you mean, but how much it pays? Um, I don't know. I mean, we could talk about it. We could say like a hundo a, a day or whatever. Okay. And Jesus. which food do you like? I mean, I need to know. I like, I like Italian food, like pizza, okay. pasta, yeah. but then sometimes I want healthy stuff like yeah. salad and whatever. Okay. And how many times a week do I need to have sex with you? Ooh, well, I mean, I, I get quite tired sometimes in the night, so not okay. every night. Maybe like three. Three is enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's, what do you that say? That sounds good. Yeah, I will call you, you know, I will definitely... <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, if you sure. tell me... Sure. Hang on Bye. a second, you don't have my number. Hey. Yeah, I'll call you. Don't no, worry, no, don't no, worry. No, all wrong. If you want to get a girl like that, first you hire her as the cook, and then slowly you introduce the extra benefits and services. It's the way to do it. Oh, yeah, I, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Sexually harass your em employees. Okay, good luck. <laughs> See you later. I hope you get a job somewhere very nice so you can give me free food. I really do hope you get a job somewhere very nice. Yeah, thank you. But mainly so I can get free food. <laughs> I just come down and say, I know, I know that girl Kate, and she said um, to just give me loads of food, and you know she'll pay for it later. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange, but no, I'm okay. joking. But it would be pretty cool. Yeah, funny. Good one. We're this in is a there, guys. Response. We're she in get there. And is the way to go. She liked so what the is joke. Your job? My job. Well, I'm a salesman. Oh. Yeah. That's um, nice. What What do you sell? Hmm. Now I sell software, and actually I started selling like cars and even double glazing back in the day. And now I sell software, so it's a lot more relaxed and it's um, it's quite good. I like it. Good being a salesman, you get to meet lots of people. Oh, I guess right. Yeah. And tell me, you know, I was just talking to my friends, and they're software. looking for jobs at the moment as well. Oh. And they told me that they they're kind of bitching about immigrants all the time. So what do you what? think? Because you're like unemployed, looking for a job. What do you think about the immigrant situation? Choose her viewpoints. Make it the opposite of yours. What? Wait, I actually get to choose what she says now? That's crazy. Is this software or is it hardware? This is software, actually, I guess. I guess this is what you meant. Is she for immigration or is she against immigration? 
She has like some sort of foreign y accent, so she probably would be for immigration, right? Mia has hardware. Yes, I have a very big piece of hardware. Are we controlling the girl now? I'm just going to say what I think she would say, which I think would be for. I think it's okay. I actually like the idea very much because um, immigrants bring diversity and, you know, it's a good thing. 10-inch mega cock. Okay, gothy chippy. Oh, now we have to we agree or disagree. Ooh. Ooh. Should we get into, like, an argument? Or should we just stroke her cock? Disagree? Um, let's see. Maybe, let's, let's get into an argument and see what happens. Well, I don't really agree with it too much because you have to think you have got a culture, right, ever. in a country. And then when you let in too many people from Hello, another Mr. culture, Zito. Hello. they have to really integrate, learn the language, um, make friends with the local people. Everyone has sure. to get along well. And that's multiculturalism and that's when it works. Yeah. But when you've got people coming in that aren't part of that, you know, you can't really say, OK, you know, as many can come as they like right? right so really depends actually on the immigrants their attitude and you know whether they can integrate because it's right. really beautiful when people do integrate yes true <laughs> there are many ways to build attraction but this is okay. actually one of the most powerful if you can use intelligence reasoned argument and change someone's mind it's really really cool and sexy so obviously try it in real life and well done for picking the right solution in this case well, you know what, regardless of whether you're for or against immigrants, the okay. very cool thing that they bring is all the food. Yeah, because like in England, we've got so much tasty this Indian food. This guy doesn't it's just delicious. talk about anything we've but food Chinese now. Food. It's wonderful. Yeah. And that wouldn't happen if we didn't have such a cool uh, multicultural society. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a positive. It's fantastic food. Yeah, and I agree. Maybe I'm just hungry now. I'm thinking about food. You've got the restaurant thing. But what's your favorite food? My favorite food is tacos. Tacos? Yeah, tacos. Oh, really? It's Mexican? I, I never knew tacos were Mexican. Thank you very much for clearing that up for me. <laughs> I did not download the DLC. There is no DLC, Barry. I, actually, I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. I don't know what laser, laser suit Larry is. Is that euphemism <laughs> for being a lesbian? <sighs> Yes. Tacos, but isn't that a euphemism for being a lesbian? Because it's kind of shaped like a Sorry? pussy and then you're what? like... Okay, like, okay. That's, gross. That's oh, disgusting. You went okay. too far. I guess I was wrong. Dirty little bugger. Ah, the classic. The classic. Tell her it's too unhealthy for you. True. Say that you also really don't like... Or you also really like Mexican food. You don't. Um, I mean, tacos aren't that unhealthy for you, right? Like, there's definitely way more unhealthy things. I mean, Mexican food is not really my favorite thing, even though I am in Texas, which is, like, very... There's a lot of Mexican food around here, because, you know, we're close to Mexico, I guess. But, you know, enchiladas are pretty good. That's amazing. I love Mexican food as well. <laughs> Spicy food, that. guacamole, enchiladas, yeah. and of course tacos. Yeah, yeah. enchiladas. We've got so much in common already. Yeah, kind of. Too much me tooing doesn't really work, especially me when it doesn't too. come across as genuine. Later on, not so bad. In the early stages, it can make you seem disingenuous. And tell me, can you cook? No, not really. Well, come on. What about boiling an egg or, I don't know, scrambled eggs? Other egg-based dis dishes? No, I don't like it. No? Pasta? Oh, no. You can't this game is full like of me too. I can't and I don't like it as well. Wow. I'll give you less. You, must, you better be real good at sucking dick then. Damn. I'll tell you what, darling. You know, a girl needs to have some talents in the house. So okay. if you're not good at cooking, you better be real good at sucking dick. What? 
You're it's fucking the way it goes. freak. You're saying how it is, babe. Freak. She said freak, I think, but the subtitles never are wrong sometimes. Never a truer word spoken. However, it should never be spoken outside of what? the game. So don't say stuff like that. It's, it's true, but don't say it. It's true, but don't say it. Um, no. Men only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. I'll get you lessons. No, that's okay. We'll, we'll just say that's okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Not everyone can cook, and I don't know. You can always there's these days what restaurants, deliveries, microwaves, ready. Like no one cooks these days, do they? Sure. Hmm. Is it really okay? Is that what you really think? In this I mean, case, I think it's she knows okay. She could be better. You know, she could be better. But you've given her a pass, so you could have done better to tease her about it or just say what you honestly think. But not go on about it, but just quickly say. I do cook a little bit from time to time. I quite like it. Oh, that's interesting. What do you cook? Uh, I like Italian foods. I like healthy foods. Oh. So, yeah, I could, I've got a few like, specialties that I make. It's like the fourth time he's mentioned yeah, that's Italian great. food. I way. think men are better at cooking than women. Yeah? Yeah, all great chefs are men. Well, that's actually true. Well, that's actually true. Men are better at everything. Men are better at kissing. Man, both of these are like awful. <laughs> oh man, I cannot, I cannot choose this. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. One thing men are definitely better at is kissing. <gasps> what? Oh, promise oh. me you're never gonna do it I again. Promise, I promise. <laughs> Okay. Although that's probably world record speed for getting your balls touched, fondled. It's not the way you want it to happen. Oh, well, well. But yeah, the men are good at cooking, but actually I'd go as far as saying men are better at pretty much everything. Oh, come on, you're kidding, right? Should I be kidding? Well, let's yeah. assume I meant it. Like, Both what, answers what's I mean women are terrible. Are at, everything. What? Body, bodybuilding, powerlifting. That's only one side, Formula okay? Formula One racing. No, women have Football, uh, better hockey. intuition. Women are better artists. Women are better musicians. Da Vinci, Michelangelo. What? Famous... I don't know, that's stupid. Oh, maybe in the Actresses past women weren't allowed to. And... This... What is Why? That? Everyone is women. Everyone is women? Playful is always good, so that's a good option. How is that a good option? Why would you ever say that? Yeah, I don't really like women. You know, men are just better at everything. <laughs> it's quite warm. Invite her to a swingers party. I don't even know what that means. Everyone is <laughs> everyone is women. <laughs> everyone is women, guys. Just remember, if you learned one thing from today's stream, everyone is women. Sex party? Okay. Do you like parties and doing stuff in the evening? Not really. No? Mm, well, I've, I've got something I know you will like, right? I'm sure. Okay. I've been looking for someone to go with. Basically, uh, there's this party in the mansion on Friday, mm. but it's got very expensive tickets. I've already bought one as another one, right? And okay. uh, what it is, everyone goes and they kind of wear something really sexy. And then, like, you swap, like... Sorry, swap stop. What do you mean? It's a swingers party, and I, I need <laughs> someone to go with. And I thought to you might be perfect. Take your right hand, wanker. Take my right hand to the party. Dang. <laughs> what if he's a lefty? Well, everyone likes swingers parties, don't they? Mm. No. No, good girls don't like them. Invite her to your house because it'll be easier to seal the deal. No, nah, that's too easy. Well, it's such nice weather, isn't outdoor it? Outdoor activities. Yeah, it is. And do you do any outdoor activities or you're usually inside? Oh, no, I love it. I yeah. like walking. You see, I'm in the park right now. I like yeah. walking. Um, your actually, <laughs> actually, I like riding a bike. I yeah. have a bike. And I'm fond of climbing and stuff. And well, quite a activities. lot then. Yeah, I like hmm. it. I would have never guessed that you're an active kind of girl because you've got... Oh, I guess you don't have like huge nails or anything, but no. long hair. Whoa, oh, touching cool hands? 
Um, <laughs> this should be part of any conversation where you go from stranger to wanting to see them again, getting the number or instant date, whatever it may be. You need to take it to things that they like to do because you're looking for that reason to see them again, that common connection or that date suggestion that you can come up with. You can't just grab someone's hand. Offer your Steam ID. <laughs> yes. Well, let's keep the connection. Um, I tell you what, take my Steam ID. It's Gambler P U A T. Sorry, sorry, stop. What? You don't have Steam. No, you don't I have don't. Steam. You know what it is? I don't. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Seriously. I don't know what she's doing, but anyway, like I said, Gambler P U A T for me and. What's my PlayStation one? Gambler PUA training. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't know Steam? What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fucking basic ass bitch. Doesn't even know what Steam is? Come on. <laughs> oh man. Ask her when your her period is coming up. Oh yeah, okay. This is probably the answer. But I kind of want to see her reaction to this. <gasps> oh, man. Did he really just drop his Steam and PSN? It's probably not real. Let's see what she says. Well, look, I want to meet you again soon, but can I ask you a personal question first? Maybe. Do you have your period coming up? What? Because, well, if what? you do, then we should just wait or meet another time because then oh it's kind of God. pointless. Oh, God, you're just like all others. You just want to have sex. Whoa, <laughs> man, woman. Oh, no, that's disgusting. Oh, my God. God. I did hear about an app where you can put in all your girls and their period dates and it tells you, you know, that you shouldn't bother meeting them that day because they're probably on their period. However, really, really, really awful. Plus, you can always do other things. Why is there an app? Uh, whatever. <laughs> How many men are asking her that? Barry, we know that men only want one thing and it's fucking disgusting. Okay, cool. So my idea would be that, I don't know, we pick a day when the weather's good and we could okay. ride bikes and I could even bring a few snacks and drinks and have a little picnic. Oh, I think that would be great. That's yeah? a nice plan. Excellent. Yeah. Cool, so put your number in my phone and sure. we'll sort it out. Okay. Here you are. Here you are. That's brilliant because you've just got such a logical step to su then suggest doing this for the date. So it's the right option. Well done. Say you'll buzz her phone. Ask her if she's interested in meeting for sex later. I mean, that's basically what we already did. Did? Let's see what she says. Since we know each other now, um, if tonight I'm feeling a little bit, you know, horny, I could give horny. you a call. What? what do you think? Would you come round? I'll send a taxi, no Uber. No way. That's terrible. I'll send Uber. Uber Black. Uber Black? Oh, she said no. Big surprise. Wait, what is Uber Black? Right then and there, so she has your number. I mean, I think, yeah, 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 let's do this. I'll call your phone right now so that you've got my number too, right? Otherwise, you won't know who's calling. Okay. Good idea, genius. Hang on. Okay, it's ringing, is it? Yeah, it's buzzing. Okay, cool. So you've got my number now as well. Okay. If you're going to be getting in touch with her, it makes sense Uber to give Black. her your number. Come on, bro. She can also go and, you know, check out your um, Facebook and do some snooping if she's that way inclined. Ask her if she's free on Tuesday. But Tuesday's Taco Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. Like, what? These are kind of like basically the same question. <laughs> What's your schedule like over the next few days? Uh, let me think. I'm a bit busy, but mm, on Thursday, Thursday is good. I can. You're free, free on Thursday? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Remember that every time you're speaking to a girl that you want to see again and you're going to get her number, you have to include this step. So well done for choosing it here. Make sure you build it in as part of your real life um, dating skills. You always find out what she's got coming up so that you know when you can see her again. She liked Tuesday. No, she wanted Thursday, guys. You're wrong. Say you'll be in touch. It was a pleasure. Say, okay, see you. And leave without smiling. <laughs> Give her a hug. Whoa, whoa. Personal space. Don't do that. <laughs> this is like, I'm just going to say, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. Well, it was so lovely meeting you. Really yeah. nice. You're, you're just a wonderful girl. Uh, thank you. Really special. Thank you very oh, much. I'll see you then. Yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. That's all right. But, How is that know, not the right answer? It might be counterintuitive, but the warmer the goodbye, the worse, because then she's very sure that you like her and she's very sure that your message and she's more likely to go into that. So you should just say, oh, yeah, rolled, that was because she knows you'll terrible keep talk. See you later. Still not bye. too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, my nice God. one. You definitely want to be in front. I'm an average and you Joe want to pay again. To the amount of space God between you because you want to leave it. enough room for her Game to comfortably sucks. slow down and. What the hell? What type of guy is the best wingman? <laughs> Ugly guy who makes you look good by comparison. Choose better answers. I'm sorry. Hello, Mr. Bushido. Ex-girlfriend? Yes. Clearly the best wingman. <laughs> Whereas a girl wing woman is actually a pretty cool option, your ex is just going to get in the way because she doesn't actually want you to get any girls. Sigh. <laughs> It's going to be the ugly guy, isn't no, it? Wrong, oh, okay, wrong, no, wrong, 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 wrong. Because <laughs> you want your wingman to look cool and be able to hold his own. Yeah, of course. I don't know anything about wingmen. You want to go out with someone that makes you look good. They should be, um, they should look pretty good if possible, at least <laughs> we dress well. Suck. Um, they should be someone that puts you in <laughs> oh, a good no. mood, has a positive energy. And if possible, you know, one that actually likes talking to girls. Well, you set up code words. Code words? Hell yeah. But first, we need to set up some code words, right? Yeah. So if you're talking to a girl, but then you decide that is two dudes you like on that the screen, one, guys. then you're going to say, this girl's crazy. And that means you like that girl. Okay. And then if you like the other one and you want to do the switcheroo, oh my God, you're going to say, like... oh, Richard, I was just thinking about that time in Italy. All right, that yeah. one. And then if you decide that you don't like the girls, you can just How say, you I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I'm going to say, okay, remember I'm all this go stuff. as well. Whatever, right? If we, don't, yeah. if we don't like them. If you like the girl and you want to take her home, then you can oh just say, God. what could you say? Uh, does anyone want some chewing gum? Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So those are our code words. Yeah. <laughs> if you go out with your friend and you talk to lots of girls, you would find that you have situations where you said, I thought you liked her. No, no, I didn't. Well, why was I talking to her? You both strike out, you can always go home together. Know, like Very, so don't in order rude. to avoid all these kinds of uh, miscommunications that can happen, it makes sense well, to hi, just Mr. spend EBL. a little hello, time hello. thinking about the possible eventualities and coming up with the code words. Even though it does sound a bit geeky, it actually really helps in practice. Oh, yeah. It's time for some Two on two yeah, action. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're going to get lucky tonight. I can just feel it. Yeah, I feel it too, man. His oh, wingman oh, is like... Oh, those two. Well, yeah. yeah. Which one Eight do you like? Eight inches taller. I like the blonde one. I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. You don't know? Go on, give it a go. No, I don't know. I don't want to be embarrassed. Hmm, all right. What? <laughs> Take a hundred dollars from him and say you'll only give it back if he approaches. This is so Mia scene. Yeah, let's just steal money. Steal, steal money from your friend. I tell you what. Um, yep. have you got any cash? Any notes? Mm. 
Just while we wait, I've got yeah, something cool. Yeah, probably. I'm going to show you a magic trick. Yeah. Here you go. Right, so I'm going to take this hundred dollars, put oh. it in my pocket, and it's going to make you talk to those girls. Really? <laughs> Come because on. Because you're not getting it back until you talk to them. Well. You agree? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Rather than you guys That's just the right the answer. Bar, not doing anything and having a shitty night, why not um, use this as a way to get each other talking to women? What? How is that the right answer? I don't understand. This game makes no sense whatsoever. This game needs to be lost history. Sweetie Kitty, there's a sequel to this game. And I'm sure it's going to be requested now after we've seen how good this one is. You go in first to scope things out. Ooh. Um... Mr. EBL, are you, are you safe? I don't really know what the, the best answer is here. <laughs> I feel like scoping things out sounds great. Do it. No, it's wrong. Nope. Remember, you're the wingman <laughs> here, so he needs to be going in first, making the better oh, impression. I'm the wingman. Oh, role. I thought he was the wingman. <laughs> Going in together is what a lot of guys do. It doesn't work too well. Much better if one of you goes in, kind of warms things up first. So what should I say? This video is never safe. You have people watching him. Your job doesn't require you to be safe. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hope you are safe though. Give him the, are you girls male bashing line? What? Tell him to just go up and grab her ass. Yep. Yep. Dude, these look like a couple of really dirty sluts. So just oh, yeah. go up to her, say, look, you've got a sexy ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just give it a slap and she will love it and just start making out with you. Yo, Rich, I don't quite sure about that. Yeah, man, yeah. Well, I don't time, quite sure about grab that. Grab ass, but you've got to be confident. That's the difference. So if you can be confident, it'll work. Give it a go. Go yeah, on. Yeah, you'll also oh. get arrested, but okay. Okay, yeah. let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, rub your hands together. Let's get, get ready, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a nice, sexy ass. Fuck off. Whoa. Okay, that was the fakest was slap wrong. I've seen in my life. What's up, bitch? <laughs> Jerk. Also, you're supposed to grab. You weren't supposed to slap. Awful. Terrible advice you gave him, yeah? Tell him to just be himself and talk about Star Wars. <gasps> Star Wars, guys. You guys like Star Wars? Okay, we, we gotta see this one, too. Uh, have you seen the latest Star Wars? No. No. <laughs> oh, why? No. Well, we don't like it. Uh, how can it be? It's the most amazing movie of all time, I think. Well, sorry, we don't think so. Well, it's Carrie Fisher, Harrison oh, sorry, Ford, sorry. Mark Hamill, and all the droids, the Jedi's. Come on, it's great. It's a great I'm sorry, time. We want to talk to, to each other. Oh, oh. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Such a you should be helping your friend, so letting him talk about Star Wars as much as he loves it. Very low chance of success. Very low chance. What if they actually like Star Wars? There's a lot of girls that like Star Wars, I'm sure. I mean, I'm not one of them because I don't really know anything about it. It's got pew pew lasers and stuff, but you know. <laughs> Amazing acting. Okay, bye, Swifty Kitty. Let's use the male bashing line. Look, girls are always talking about two things, shopping or they're discussing men. So just go over yeah, there yeah. and say, you, you guys know no girls like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, like 99%. So, okay. Pew, 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 are you male bashing? Um, not now. Oh, what? you're great. And by the way, my name is Greg. I'm Greg, Vicky. Oh, and you? Are you male Monica? bashing? Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice what? to meet you too. This is a nice opening line. Huh? It often works because either they are the best talking answer? about guys 
before. They're not, but they probably were not long ago. So usually, women only laugh, want two things. Nice it's way fucking to start disgusting. In a bar or club when the girls smile and laugh. I love it when a guy comes up to me and asks if I'm male bashing. Like, I mean, of course, that's all I do is male bash. <laughs> How long will you wait to join? One minute. You want to allow enough time for him to say something to the girls, get a response, go a little bit further than that, get them comfortable,、uh, make sure that they feel、suck. good, and then you join exactly at that time. If it's too early or too late,、um, it could be all wrong and mess things up. So around a minute looks right, but when they're kind of engaged in a conversation together, ideally smiling, you can get in there. Mister Funk, calm down, lewd. When's the last time a guy came up to you? <laughs> What are you guys talking about? All the guys in my stream are coming up to me. Um, what will you say as you join them? Pretend to throw up on them. Oh yeah, okay. Wow, what an amazing party! Yes, and the club is so nice. Yeah, I like it.、Mm -hmm. yeah. Yo, Greg, man, I don't feel too good.、Oh. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Sorry,、right, babe. I'm only joking. Nothing there. Let's shake my hand. It's not funny. I don't want to shake your hand. Shake my hand. Okay. Ew. Let's go. Oh, girls, I'm joking. Come on. And she's like, okay. Destroyed it for you, yeah. Oh. Ah, that wasn't so good anyway. What an asshole! Congratulations, you chose one of the best things in the game. It's actually something、uh, my friend Alex does in real life and gets in a lot of trouble. I、uh, nearly got beaten up a few times, so you should probably not try it. Although in the game, I agree, it's pretty damn funny. This guy's acting is so bad. When's the last time a lady came up to me? Um. Well, there was this one time at Walmart. You know, I was looking for an item in in the in the aisle, and and this this this. Um, <clears throat> female.、Uh, you could say she was an employee. Maybe she had this like vest on with like a like a star on it. And she asked me. She came up here and asked me like, "Can can she help me?" It, it was it was a great time. Come and say I I see you've met the local serial killer. Yes. Well, what an amazing party. You guys like my story? Oh, great! So I see you've met the local serial killer. They、um, call him the bonsai killer because he he kills、uh, children and he leaves a little bonsai tree on them. But but apart from that, he's a very nice guy. Anyway, What? So I'm I'm Richard. Nice to、Hi. meet you. Vicky. Vicky. And your name? Monica. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This kind of funny stuff that makes them laugh is kind of good in some way. You know, it's that friendly banter. But on the other hand, you know, it takes a little bit away from the relationship because it seems like you're competing or trying to make him look bad. <laughs> it always cuts off his lines. They weren't laughing. They did not enjoy my serial killer joke. I can't even imagine why, though. Give attention to the girl your friend likes. Give attention to the friend, to your friend. Yeah, let's freaking bang our friend. Yeah, so that was pretty good, anyway. But oh, dude, did you see the match yesterday? Oh yes, this Irish pricks made us. Yeah, man, that was awful. Everything、What? was cool, and then like ten minutes from the end, just all went pretty shit, to be honest. But what was the referee doing? That was messed up. I don't know. I think he was blind. Yeah, probably. But anyway, if if all good, like win the next two or three games, it should be okay. <laughs> no.、Uh -oh, no. How is that an okay answer? Because as soon as you focus on your friends. The girls can start talking to each other, and then everything can just disintegrate. So be careful. What? That was the worst answer of my life, and it was an okay answer. Tell her about Fifty Shades of Grey and Sex Dungeons. Yep. I don't really read, but I do like、uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Did、oh, you see this? Well, actually, I've read it. Oh yeah, you read it. That's、yeah. great. Ah, well, 
you know, based on that, I actually started getting into this whole area, and so I added a special room to my house, and it has all these chains and whips and equipment and the hooks oh, yeah. and things to tie girls up. Chains actually, I think your wrists, and whips. Your wrists are quite small, but I think we can get some ropes Jesus and stuff around. Oh, what no. do you think? Oh, no. Come on, let's go. I think he's sexy. He's a sex maniac. maniac. Well, not really. It's just whips and chains. But, uh, Richard, what have you done? It was the sex dungeon thing again. They didn't like it. It was the sex oh, really? dungeon thing yeah, again. I think, you know, they're just boring girls. I think we can find some girls. We just need girls that are sexy yeah. and like sex dungeons, right? Yeah, shouldn't be too yeah, much fun. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's easy, easy. On a serious <laughs> note, it's not the way to bring sexual topics into the discussion. <laughs> Kelly, please. What kind of question is that? It's rare to read books these days. Well done. I like reading too, actually. But wow. don't you think it's rare these days? Like everyone's on Instagram and just distracted by yeah. stuff. Well, you know, it's maybe bots. My friends yeah. read all the, the time, so. Yeah. yeah. So we should start a reading club. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, just, I think a literature that, right? club? Like everyone reads the same book and then Don't talks about it. Yes, actually, it's pretty cool. Thing. If you can agree on the book. Yeah? Right? Well, not much, really. really. You know, you share your opinion. Oh, it's pretty cool yeah. to, yeah, really okay. to and discuss it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's rare for me to meet someone that likes reading and it's yeah. pretty cool. Okay. So, yeah. well I think you have a very nice voice. <laughs> yeah. I think you have a very nice voice. When you're being the wingman, you want to make your girl feel good and comfortable. That means that. You don't need to do so don't much teasing us. and things like that, but you do need to give some How compliments, have a you? friendly conversation, and basically talk her in nicely enough so that she's happy to talk to you, but maybe not too much so that she likes you. And by the way, what are you drinking there? Champagne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cheers. Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, ladies, uh, let me get you another one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Gentleman, that's gonna eh? be a pricey, pricey drinks there. Tell the girls an embarrassing story about him. Try and steal both girls for a threesome while he was away. Yep. Let's bang. So you two are good friends, right? Yeah. So would you say you share things and always do things together well, and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Usually, yeah. That's good because, listen, he's my friend and all, but actually I really like both of you. And we've got like one blonde, one brunette, and it's kind of my fantasy to, you know, have a threesome with uh, girls Are exactly you like you. Yeah. So what do you say? He's going to keep Are buying drinks insane? all night, champagne, you get wasted, and then back to my house. And first both of you, and then just you, and you watch, and then you, and you can Are make you a video. You can take photos, right? And then you both again, and then like a different position, and I've got some you things know what? to... No, this stop. is like way yeah. too oh, detailed. Oh, oh, oh. Lesbians. Lesbians. <laughs> this is one of my moves, obviously, but um, in reality, it's very bad. You actually do achieve more when you're good to your friends and they're good to you. Every it time you get rejected, guys, just call, call a girl a lesbian. Girls. Amazing, but true. <laughs> oh, man. I want to hear the embarrassing story. You know, Greg, is, he's like my best friend. He's so cool. Well, well he, he's usually cool, but actually there was this time when we were in school together and we were on a class trip and he actually shit the bed just everywhere <laughs> all over the bed and uh in the morning like everyone could smell it like greg you shit the bed ha. he's like no it wasn't me it was already there but i didn't say anything <laughs> like anyone would believe it <laughs> and then um what else happened and he's even still saved in my phone <laughs> as great greg greg, what? Like, greg the bed shitter <laughs> amazing right but no look in seriously Seriously, he's still a great guy. Well, he just I the bed. think you should probably cancel our drinks. Oh, you don't want to, like, cheers, Greg, the bed shit? No, no. All right, okay, okay. I'm, no. I'm going to cancel. Dude, no. hold up. It was disgusting. Yes, I think we should leave before they come back. Yeah, sure. Why is he freaking out? He's laughing well, no, as a joke. absolute gym. genius. Um, it's not being a good friend, not being a good wingman. So, obviously, not a good thing to do. Tell his girl that he likes her and she's a lucky girl. Tell him about a great book you recently read. Like Fifty Shades of Grey. My favorite book. 
He really helped you out and why you're best friends. This sounds like an amazing answer. You know, Greg, he's actually my best friend, such a great guy because, you know, I've got lots of friends, but you never know who would really be there for you, right? But there was this one time where I just had this horrible situation, broke up with my ex-girlfriend, and I called him at like four in the morning, and he said, I'm going to be there right away. And oh, he got wow. out of bed, came of to me, pink. and was talking to me, you know, pink. all through the morning and stuff, didn't sleep. And it really made me feel better. And I knew because he could have said, oh, I've got to sleep, I'm busy, I'm going to work tomorrow, whatever. But he was really there for me. So since that day, I realized, you know, he's a super guy. And, wonderful. Uh, that's yeah. why he's my So friend. nice to have such a wonderful friend. Yeah. Yeah, a wonderful friend, yeah. <laughs> this is one of the most powerful moments in the entire game because if you can do this kind of thing for your friends and if they can do it for you, it has a huge effect. When you say things about yourself, it's bragging, it's bad. But when someone else says something about you, it's incredibly powerful. So think about Greg something nice the true that you can person say we should about end up with. your wingman and try it next time. Yeah, so that's good anyway. I'll... Look, hey Rich, he needs my help. I'll just get the drinks. Hang on a second. All right, what have you got here? What'd you get in the whiskey coke? Yeah. I hope it's a double. Whiskey coke. There you go. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So, so cheers. cheers, everyone. Yeah, cheers. Oh. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's a nice one. Mm. And you normally drink champagne. Yes, I really like it. Yeah? What yeah. about cocktails? No. Vodka? No. Beer? No, definitely not. How about beer? Nuts. Yeah, I really like the taste. Yeah, I don't like beer at all, actually. It's strange, but hang on a second. Hi, it's my mum. It was her birthday today. She just said, like, thanks again and whatever. Oh, no. Whoa, she's so pretty. She looks young, right? That's why you're so handsome. Oh, thanks. Lesbian for her mom, or his mom. <laughs> Why is every silent moment so awkward? Because that's just realism. It's always awkward. Be cold and tell her you have a girlfriend. Tell her you have a girlfriend, but that you can, you can still have sex. Game her to the same extent as if you really liked her. Um... <laughs> Let's be a bad person. Well, thank you, but actually, I've got a girlfriend. Oh. Oh, but I tell you what we could do. Listen, she goes to Pilates, and um, so we could fuck like every Wednesday, for example. <laughs> what do you say? What? Yeah, like seven, seven thirty. She goes, and then she's not back until I don't know, like two, I'm two and a half hours. No, what, what are you saying? Be... What do you think? No. Guys, only want on one Wednesdays. thing. Oh my God, go fuck yourself. What did you tell her? Oh, it's not my fault. She was just sad because I said I had a girlfriend, but then I tried to make her happy again by saying I could fuck her every Wednesday. Are but you crazy? I guess she's busy on Wednesdays <laughs> or something. I don't know. Are you Vicky. crazy? Richard, Sorry, what man. have you done? I don't know. I fucked it up, I guess, but shit happens, eh? Often to me, but... Jim, you played it again. Yeah, that's why they call me the destroyer, I guess. Richard. The destroyer. <laughs> that's why they call why me the destroyer. With her? They call me the destroyer, guys. The destroyer of worlds. Let's be honest and cold. Well, that's nice. Thank you. But I've got a girlfriend and I love her and she's so special to me. And I was just coming to talk to you because, Jeez. you know, Greg likes your friend Vicky. And I was like, okay, I'll talk to this one. And then, you know, oh, you're yeah. nice. Oh my God, but what an asshole. You know. Yeah, okay, say? See. Well, you don't need to leave. Because well, no. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk to this guy. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Oh, thank you. Sorry, Richard. Yeah, I just what, told, I told her I have a girlfriend. I'm not, you know. What do you want me to do? Lie? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I like her a lot. Okay, I could have I pretended, she's I guess. One. Right, next time I'll pretend, but... No. Live and learn, yeah? Damn, Richard. On to the next one. Damn, Richard, you suck. Ah, uh, you blew it for him, right? Well, 
what you need to do is to keep the girl just interested enough that she'll stay with you and not drag her friend away. Ideally, um, she leaves with a good impression of you both so that she encourages her friend to see your friend again. Thank you, that's nice of you to say. And actually you're so pretty, you've got such a sweet smile. Thank you, nice to hear. But you're a little bit shy, right? Am I right? Maybe a little bit. But that's cute, I like shy girls. Thank you. Yeah, shy girls are normally good girls. But is, what is it they say? It's always the quiet ones. There's some like, English expression that the quiet ones are trouble. Well, maybe it's true. Yeah, true about you? Maybe. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm troubled. The worst situation here is if your girl gets bored and wants to leave and drags his girl away. And girls often do that because they're way more loyal than guys. So you need to keep your girl interested. And so as far as you can, without being dishonest, you want to You're work like, hard guys, to make girls like are more you. loyal because they're better. Keep the girl side by side. Turn your girl away from her friend. You're a quiet one. Quiet ones are in trouble. When the girls can see each other, they can find a moment, you know, where there's a lull in the conversation um, and they can get out of there. If you turn them away so they can't see each other without kind of, uh, you know, looking back, then it makes it much harder for the conversation to break up for either party as long as they can't see each other. So it's the correct option. What food do you like? Well, I am a vegetarian mm -hmm. for six years now. Oh, Can you believe it? Six you still alive? years? Yes, as you see. Okay. No, but seriously, do you feel healthier with it? Yes, actually, I feel much better. Okay. Seems quite um, trendy at the moment. And I saw lots of documentaries like this one, Cowspiracy, Forks Overnight. Cowspiracy? And it's all, you know, about how eating meat is bad for the environment, having plant proteins or whatever is better, so... That's cool. And you've, you're a healthy person in general then? Well, yes, I think so. And actually, I really love animals, so I just can't oh, eat them, you know. <laughs> Do you have some animals? Yes, I have a dog. Okay. What about you? No, I, I have fish. I have an aquarium oh. with fishes. Nice. Fishes? Yeah, <laughs> well, fish are nice, I guess, but like, <laughs> whatever, you know? Find out logistics. If they live together and if they work the next day. Talk about her hobbies. Tell her about your hunting safari. <sighs> oh no. That's cool that you're vegetarian and like animals. Actually, I really like animals as well. And I went on a special trip to Africa. You know, in Africa they have safari parks yeah. and all of that. And they had this place where you can do hunting right yeah oh, and you sorry, have the choice sorry. like you can either shoot an uh, what was it a giraffe a lion an elephant like all the different animals and i was like fuck that i want to shoot them all right? i'm only here once so i just want to shoot them all fuck so that. Went i want to shoot and, um, them all it was took ages because the elephant was so tough to kill it was like oh you know with this trunk and stuff like bang bang no, actually please, got quite boring please, but the please, baby stop. giraffe just immediately <laughs> samurai sword head please samurai sword Please, no. no. The best part was when we ate them later. Like, this is me eating oh my the God, baby please, giraffe. No, 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 oh no, my no, God. No, no, oh my God. Darling. What happened? I'm sorry about that. Your friend's weird, to be honest. I was just telling, you know, she likes animals. And I was just telling her about my time in Africa and baby giraffe and elephants and stuff. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Bang, was, bang, bang. Oh, where are you going? A couple of weirdos, to be honest. Well, I just, what's wrong? I told him about when I went hunting in Africa. Yeah, this was baby great. giraffe, right? Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, Don't it was talk great. About yeah. Animals. And if you do like killing animals, stop. Stop hunting. It's bad. Leave them alone. Wow, hot takes. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Talk about our hobbies. Can you do anything active apart from well, reading? I mean, reading could be active. <laughs> <laughs> do you mean sports or something? Yeah, yeah. Well, no. No? No. Zero? Zero. Well, walking. Uh, well, you walking. need to walk from your house to different places. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Can we count it? I am a um, hot take. Not really. You don't play like volleyball no, no, or I don't really. badminton? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no? That's no. so strange. Well, I don't know. What about like the gym? Sports. you never been a member of a gym? Well, maybe, maybe I was. But you didn't go? Yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, that's funny. Well, you, you look all right anyway. You're in Thank good you. shape. So Thank you. So it hasn't uh, killed you yet. <laughs> 
At some point, you need to start working for your friend and finding out the necessary information. So staying in this conversation is okay, but you could be more helpful if you uh, found out the stuff that would help you later when you want to close the deal. Well, sorry for Seems being like interested in your hobbies. Very well together. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what? Offer to take pics and direct him to touch her up. Did you know I'm a licensed pastor? <laughs> I think I should marry you guys right now. Pro proceed to perform a ceremony with I do's. Oh, we gotta, we gotta touch her up first. Yeah, they look so sweet together. Here, take this for seconds. Okay. I'm gonna get some snaps. Yo, Vicky, Vicky. Yeah. Craig, look. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Okay. He yeah, actually opened the nice camera stuff. up. You can see. That's nice. Cool. Hey, give him a little kiss on the cheek. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Yeah. yeah, that's good. All right. Hey, give me your drink, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you need both hands for this. Just touch her more, like hug her, you know? Yeah. Like hug her like hey, you're saving. Hey, stop. Hey, it's hey, all right, hey, babe. Wait, what's Just wrong? a hug. <laughs> what's wrong? It's not very comfortable. Act, act like he's attacking you. That's perfect. No, Hang no, on. No. Wait, stop, wait, 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 wait. Act like he's wait, attacking wait. Hang on. What? That's good. Stay like that. Stay like that. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. perfect. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. come on, baby. Dude, left hand on pussy. Try. Yeah. <gasps> what? Are you crazy? Where are you going? What's wrong, Vicky? I'm getting all of it. I got it. I'm getting all of it. Richard, what's wrong? There's your drink, dude. Yeah. Got some cool pics though. Yeah. They're weird. Yeah. No <laughs> girls, but pictures. Yeah, I got, I got some cool right. pics. Mm -hmm. We all sit on Pornhub. What? Ah, the sleazy photographer routine. Classic, but doesn't really work, does it, in reality? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's be a pastor. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. They look great Sorry, together. Bye, hey, Mr. hey, guys, Morgan. Vicky, yeah. Greg, come here a second. Yeah. Look, you guys are getting on amazingly. And yeah. do you know what? I'm actually a licensed pastor, so I can marry you guys. Here, man. This yeah. is for my emergency Whoa, special occasion <laughs> ring. Yeah. So, uh, emergency with this special ring, occasion ring. You take Greg. I'm to sorry, be your guys. lawfully I'm wedded husband. To have and to hold. No, it's not funny. Forever it's okay. And ever. It's no. fine. Just drink some champagne and let's do it. I'm sorry, I don't want to do that. Wait because... a minute, you're married already? No, I'm Dude, not. You're just married already. No, you're married, married yeah. already. I'm not going to do that. you married or what? No. Right. And then you're a lesbian. The, oh, lesbian. okay. Yep, there it is. Vicky, come on. Are you two or you're, are you you're married? either married Vicky. or you're a lesbian. What's wrong with them? I don't know, man. You What's know, wrong with them? They must be lesbians. Weird. What are you going to do? Yeah. Come on. Or maybe they're married. Mm, quite funny, but a bit too high pressure, so it can easily blow up in your face like it did just then. <laughs> Tell the friend your girl how good they look together. Yeah, this is probably. I mean, we could just ditch them. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they're getting on great. So, my work here is done. And I'm going to head off. I'm going to the strip club. Have fun, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, bye. See you bye. later. Yes, go. Have fun. Oh, don't, don't bother. He, he, he's on his own way. He's on his own way. As much as I recommend going to the strip club, you needed to just stay a little bit longer there with your friends, helping him out, so the next time he wants to help you out, right? Fine, I'll do the right answer. Yeah, they look great together. First, they're actually yeah. both quite tall, so they match like that, because he actually likes tall girls, and it's so hard yeah, for him to find someone in his height. Yeah. That's really cool. She's, She's such a nice guy. How is she? Is she a good girl? She's a wonderful girl. Yeah? I think your friend is very lucky. Alright, well hopefully they, you know, they make it, but let's just chill and see what happens. This is very nice. You're not You'll saying never it publicly, go to a strip you're not club. saying it to her, but you're saying it to the friend. Because you know that after this interaction, they're going to speak about him and you want the girl that you're talking to to be saying very nice things about your friend. So it's the correct choice. Nice one. Let your friend decide what to do next. Suggest a swingers party again? Yep. Your shoes are so shiny. Thank you. Shiny. Yeah, just, it's very nice, like disco ball shoes. Shiny shoes. Oh. Hey, hang on a second. Yo, Greg, Yo. what's the time, man? Oh, it's 2 a.m. Two, shit, we were, we're late for this party. Damn. Uh, right. But, but Damn. good news, yeah. we found the girls to take. Yeah. Girls, it's a swingers party. Come on. You'll like it. Let's go. No, come no. Come on. Like swingers. Guys, no. Let's go. Stop. Well, come on. But you look like... 
What's wrong with them? But they were What's so shotty, I was sure they would be into it. Yeah. Fuck, man. We should have invited them bowling. Yeah, I think. Bowling would have been nice. Ah, how romantic. Suggest going somewhere else. Persuade your girl to... Persuade your girl to so that she persuades her friend. Oh, persuade your girl too so that she persuades her friend. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. Monica, what do you think? Who stays out a bit that late? Right? I don't yeah. know. Maybe we should make a move after party time, yeah? I think it's a good idea. Right, let's get yeah. Vico and Greg and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I like bowling, even though I'm really bad at it. It's fine. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Think she wants to. Yeah, yeah that's okay. All yeah. my yeah. ideas are good. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go. Hey, it worked. We're gonna go bang. Brilliant. This is exactly the way to do it. Um, you don't want to leave it to him and you want to first persuade your girl so that there's two people that already want to do the thing, then your friends are going to be three and the final girl is going to agree to it because, you know, she's just going to be outvoted. That's called peer pressure. Casanova, once again, aren't you want to I go out amazing? with someone that makes you look good. They should be... I'm so good. Um, they I'm so good at life. So we're in the office now. Look at his freaking like shirt and tie. Okay, now you can like the creepiest freaking. Oh my god! No way! You still play Candy Crush and you're on level four ninety five. Amazing. This is amazing. You're sexy. If we didn't work together, I'd fuck the shit out of you. Oh man, I love being. But so the shit comes out. <laughs> God, you're sexy. Oh, no. If we weren't working, I'll just. What? What'd you say? Nothing. I wasn't saying anything. I was just rehearsing. Oh, hang on. Hi. Yep. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. No, I'll be there. Saved. Right. 10 o'clock Tuesday. Okay. Great. See you. Bye bye. Mia, please. Um, Big meeting coming up. Me, yeah, please. Sure. This is exactly how you should not behave in the office. Yeah, but what about Candy Crush? Oh, no way, you still play Candy Crush. Oh, don't tell anyone. I'm gonna tell everyone. I am. Of course, I am. Level 495, are you kidding me? 501. How many years did that take? Around five. Around, yeah. Oh my work. god. Which level are you at? Oh, I, I, I don't know, 200 and something. But yeah. I'll send you a Candy Crush request. Alright, alright. It's a nice one. Alright, well carry on, don't let me disturb you. You've got candies to crush. Don't tell anyone. It's going to be all secret. Candies right? to okay. crush. Oh, email to all. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it was work, a joke, but I'm actually gonna report stuff. you. It's a so nice way fuck to off. Them out Candy Crush is basic bit of bitch teasing, material. A bit of playfulness, so it's a good choice. <laughs> so what do you I'm think just of this kidding. New guy, By the way, it's a joke, guy. It, it's yeah. a joke, okay? I, my friend actually dated him, and to her, he was a total freak. Oh, no way. That's amazing gossip. Wow, <laughs> cool. Thank you. I know. Small world, isn't it? Yeah. But he seems, he seems alright for working. Oh, for, for, for work, that's, that's fine. That's, it doesn't matter, but the gossip's cool. Thanks for that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay. Get her steam. What? You don't know what steam is? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Tell her about the hot girl you slept with last week. Hell yeah. <sighs> oh, so tired. Oh, so oh, tired. Oh, so tired. Why did you say? Yeah. Oh God. Um. Well, there was this. I met. This, I went out like a, you know a few days ago, and I met this blonde How girl. Come to the only two employees. So no, there's a guy in the background night, like on her camera. Which is not late, right? Eleven. Look, there he is. Mm -hmm. He's right there. No, Eleven at night. It's not very late. You know, I normally sleep twelve one, so it's okay. But this girl, she was so crazy in bed. And we were. Wait, like, that, that was the first time you met her, right? Uh, seconds, but I mean, first time was like five minutes. So she was not and a then, prostitute. No, no, she I didn't was not pay. a prostitute. I just, I just bought her some drinks, but 
then um, how Ken, come she like, has we were, like having, you know in the bed? Uh, like, yeah, so like after two hours, I'm like, like a hey, laptop. Come on, I've got but, work tomorrow. She's like, don't stop, give it. But to also me. like a regular like computer. Oh, Why is she on I'm her like, laptop? I know, Obviously, it's amazing. But look, I've got oh, to go to work tomorrow. Well, that was like after two, and then she's like again, and again, and then it was. I guess I finally took it out for the last time, maybe five. Five in the morning, she left. She's like, "Oh, let's do it more, more, please. I think it's the best." And blah blah. And I was like, "Look," and I called a cab, and she went like maybe five thirty, something like that. So that's how the, I mean, that's <laughs> why I'm tired. You understand, right? I think you're bullshitting. I think it was probably five minutes. You got it the way around. Five minutes of sex and six hours of rest. No, maybe. You should get another coffee. That will help. Yeah, because I am tired, but. I mean, it was it was good for her, and I like I like. But you you're know. a good good storyteller. Mm -hmm. You're a good you like storyteller. I can give more details as well. I mean, fake storyteller. No. Savage. Savage. Just keep on working. Okay. Not the right conversation for the office at all. She's candy crushing. We already covered this. But, like, wouldn't you be, like, wouldn't her boss or whatever, like, walk over and ask her why she has that? Tell her how bad it is that they stopped free lunches on Friday. Man, that's, that's so bad. They're not slaves? Hey, you know what I hate? What? This well, Friday I understand lunch. that, but, like, it. We you're working. You're not supposed to be playing no, games. I know, I heard about it. So bullshit. I kept, when I came to work in this place, they're like, you're going to get free lunch on Friday, you're going to get these, you know, trips and stuff, and then they just take it all away, piece by piece. What are they going to do next? Uh, well, life sucks, in general. Yeah, mm -hmm. because that lunch was cool, you know? We had sometimes, you didn't work as long as me, but we sometimes we had pizzas, sometimes they had Chinese food, and mm. the Indian food was my favourite. Are you yeah, still like talking? I love Indian food. Me too, right? Are so you still talking? Oh my Indian god. Yeah, before you started, they used to do it. And then they said, oh, it's too expensive. Now we have to get pizzas for everyone. They used to have this uh, naan breads and stuff, the rice and different vegetable curries, meat curries. So nice. Mango lassi drink. Maybe you should go work in a restaurant. You know so much about it. Hmm. Do they need, um, like, uh, <laughs> criminal lawyers in restaurant? you think? Yeah, especially if you have bad stomach after you eat Indian, they might need to. Good idea. She's not very interested in food, apparently. Be in the office, negative, Nancy, moaning, not so attractive, so not the best thing that you could choose. You love Mango Lassi? Oh hey, um, next weekend is uh, it's like holiday weekend, extra day. So you got you got any plans? I do, I do. I'm going to Las Vegas with my friends. Oh yeah. Maybe gonna get married. You never know there. Oh, you're gonna get. Oh, well, you're joking. You know, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> and you? Um, yeah, I've got big plans. Hello, um, Mr. Tim. Just Hello. Just got a few options. Need to decide. Different people invited me to cool, cool things and trips. But, what yeah. are the options? Oh. Um, you know, like flying places, some cool parties, and um, one of my friends is like friends with uh, celebrity mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. house party in uh, Hollywood Hills and stuff. Nice. And, but nice anyway, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you after. Because you know, right. I'm not sure. I need to choose. Really, I get a lot of invitations. All right. All right. Make your choice wisely. Hey, I know you've got this uh, report to finish, but. You do seem like a bit more stressed overall. I know, I'm very stressed. I mean, with this new boss, who's the mm -hmm. new head of the department, he's putting so much pressure on us. I really don't like the direction that the company is going. What is this game like? It's an amazing visual novel type thing. And when I say amazing, I mean super cringy and yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I didn't even hear what she said because I got distracted. But, um... Ask her if she wants to be part of your conspiracy to take a dump in his office. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, you're right. He's, he's just... 
a dickhead, really, to be honest. I think what we should do is we should sneak into the office, like at night when no one's here, go into his office and just take a dump on the floor, maybe piss everywhere That's or something so like that. That's so gross. Maybe burn some shit. How right? old are you? Uh, 35. Oh, this kid's games. Kid's games? Have you heard of work ethics? Yeah, Ever. but look, he's a dickhead. I like taking dumps. Uh, Perfect combination. Have what you, you tried a toilet ever for dumps? Okay. You know, not people's offices. No. Yeah, but it, you don't like him, right? Man, but I still think you're going too far. You don't like him? I thought it would make you happy. You know, um, I'm for other ways of solving issues other than dumping in people's offices. This usually works for me, to be honest, but I, I'll, I'll think. Have a think. So I, I did notice a smell here. No, I haven't done a dump here. <laughs> really? no. Are you sure? Oh. Well, you better not. No, no I usually, I mean, my nappy is, is on. Oh my god. Like his... <laughs> what? I, I really don't mind if you actually do this. Um, what? It's quite funny. You will get fired if they catch you. Feel free to do it. I encourage you. You encourage us to shit in offices? What the hell is this game? Advise her to meditate. Yeah, meditation. We're inside of a video game. <gasps> this is like so meta. Well, listen, there's no need to be stressed, right? Try this. There's, uh, you know, there's like meditation exercises and all the things like that. So anyway, go with this. Try this company is not real. Just imagine, like, I'm not in a real company. You're serious? Yeah, try and say it. This company, this is, company not is not real. This company is not real. I'm a character doing a pretend job. I'm a character doing a pretend job. Do you see where I'm going? Like, nothing really matters. I'll try it at I'm home. I'm a character. If you don't mind. You know, like a film or computer game. There are people watching this us right now. This is not real. This is not real. It doesn't matter. I'm doing this report. It there are matter. people watching you right now. And then you just don't feel stressed. These are not they know, real they know. Can letters you finish on my screen. finish the report though? And then I pretend finish, the office does not exist. Finish you don't mind. the report that doesn't matter for the company that doesn't does exist. exist. Exactly. Because you're a character and you're not real. Alright. You see how it works. It's maybe, amazing. Maybe I'll get a promotion as well, yes, which doesn't exist. Yes, a promotion, yeah. Mm. Now you get it. There you go. Now you get it. Of course, of course. Well, that didn't work, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> Disagree and try to convince her, sure. Well, I know it's hard now, but if you think about it, anytime someone new comes in, they make a lot of changes, right? And there's bound to be some period of adjustment. But if you think about it, I think the strategy is correct. And if we just Philosophy. wait a few weeks, I think everything's going to smooth out and it'll actually be a lot better because he seems really smart, so... All right. Um, well, I'm, you know, I'm hoping you're right. Yeah, of course. I'm always right. Remember that. Let's see. I'm always right. Hey, just like me. If this is what you really feel, then say it and use some intelligent arguments and logical points and try and change her minds. It can generate attraction if you're looking intelligent, doing it in a smart way. So try that. I used to work for... Um, Baxford, Baxter and yeah. Bowtie, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, that's correct. Well, what, what happened? Why did you leave that? Yeah, I was bored and I was underappreciated there and I, oh. could, I felt that I could do so much more. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you we so much. We appreciate you. Nice Never forget. Hear. I will not. Will not. Never Thank forget. You. you want to find out if she is single. Ah. Uh. You must have a boyfriend. Look at your arms and legs and feet. What? <laughs> arms and legs and feet. Yes. So you must have a man at home. I don't. You don't? What are you joking? No. How come? No. Look at you, how amazing you are. You have such lovely uh, tan cringe, arms, and the way you paint your fingers different. Last week you had blue, right? And now it's this You're red quite color. Observant, aren't you? Amazing, yeah. And that, that other, I mean, this is really nice because it shows Thank your you. legs, and you have nice tiny legs. Thank you. You have and, nice um, tiny legs. Your feet are so sweet as well, like little. Well, you yeah. have a fit fetish. 
Why didn't Angela met you? But your feet are amazing. Oh my god, so kind of, it's creepy. Kind of getting one. But anyway, so you're single. That's that's um, surprising. Foot fetish, guys. Don't you just want those feet to rub along your cock? Not mm, very yes. smooth. So many different ways to find out whether she's single and available. See that she must be single because she puts in so much effort to look good at work. <laughs> Property prices? Mia, please. How is that not the best answer? I know, right? Let's ask about vacation plans. So do you have any vacation plans coming? Oh, I do, in fact. Big plans. Yeah. Going, going surfing to Portugal all the way. Portugal? You're going to surf to there or once you get there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going right? to use a plane to get there, but then oh. I'm going to surf in Portugal, yeah. All right, very nice. I saw on YouTube, they have these huge, huge waves, the biggest yep. in the world. Yeah, yeah, though, yeah, right? the world record, 30 meters. My God, that's mental. Quite amazing, no? Yeah, beautiful and cool and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to beat it, the world record. All right. I think I can do it better. Hot surfer girl, guys. Okay, but anyway, who, who are you going there with? Uh, just a group of friends. So you're just going with friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah? Uh, go out girls? Two girls, one guy. Okay, great. That's going to be really cool. Two girls, one guy. I think I've seen that before somewhere. You can't really ask a work colleague, hey, are you single? It's a little bit too close to coming on to her. So smooth way to do it is that. So well done. Yeah, I'm the best. After lunch. Starbucks. What do you mean? What do you, what do we, what, what do I, what am I? Huh? Yes, I'm the best. What do you have for lunch today? Uh, Indian. Indian food. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like it. Because in England we have lots of Indians, and uh, you know yeah, we have so many well. Indian restaurants. I like it a lot. What do you have? Uh, chicken curry. Yeah, spicy or yeah, spicy. I like it. Too spicy. pro for me. Well, like, yeah, I'm pretty spicy. good at this, you know. Good guess. Good guess. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Babe, go and make me some tea. <laughs> yeah, make me some tea. Babe, uh, make me a cup of tea, would you? Yes, of course, my friend. Thanks. Yeah, how how do you like it? Um, black tea, a little bit of milk, um, not too hot, so maybe a little bit of cold <laughs> water at the end, and um, sugar. First, we're gonna slow down because I'm writing in town. I don't want to get it wrong. Okay, so um, not boiling hot, uh -huh. right? So maybe a little bit of cold water. Uh, Temperature-wise, what? How many degrees? Oh, I, don't, I don't know, but like, it, so there's steam, but not loads of steam. Like mm -hmm. so doesn't, you know. steam. And then uh, milk, a uh, little bit of milk. And then She's not ready sugar, but only if they have muscovado sugar. Otherwise, don't bother. Okay, okay, I'll I'll, I'll order it if they don't have it. Of okay, course, perfect. Of course, for you everything. Thanks, babe. <laughs> no problem, honey. Um, should I help and turn your chair to help you? Are you not joking? Well, since I'm not working at Starbucks, here are the directions. You can go make it yourself if you don't mind. His face. <laughs> Maybe a little How bit is too that much. An okay she's saying answer. a little bit too playful and more likely what? that she would say no. You can be playful if you know that she's likely to go with it. Hello, Neo Gamer. There's not too much risk in her going for it. Don't you know what Steam is? That's an okay answer, guys. <laughs> oh no. Wanna go to the Shamrock? What's the Shamrock, guys? Hey, listen, uh, me and some of the guys and girls, we're going to the Shamrock after work. You, All right, you want to come? The pub? Yeah, the that one they have uh, pool and darts and ping pong and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. I heard a lot about it. Darts. You want to go? You want to join us? I would love to. I would love to. Thank you so much for the invitation. All right. 
course, it's going to be good. Great. All right. Okay. Doing well there, because the best way to invite a colleague out, especially if you're not sure, Bye. is to arrange some kind of group event. So that's the way to bridge that gap between people that are just colleagues to people that see each other socially. A few days later. <gasps> Ooh, did we get in there? Hey, are you doing any oh, um, new exercise outfit. stuff for the moment? Um, yeah, actually, I just started doing CrossFit. Oh, you do CrossFit? Yeah. Oh man, I can tell you do CrossFit. Your legs are so sexy. I can tell I would like to rub oil all over you. If we weren't coworkers, I'd fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> oh my god. CrossFit is for yuppie douche yuppie. What does that even mean? Nothing to offer the world but their meathead bodies. Oh man, there's so many good choices here. Okay, Mia, thank you. No problem, Mr. Zito. No problem. I'm so glad you're here. Let's say her legs are so sexy. I knew you did CrossFit. I can tell because you look at your legs. They're really sexy. And uh, you have to do loads of squats and those jumps and stuff, jumping on boxes and whatever, so... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, good guess. Yeah. Yuppie guess is you know young urban good professional. Yeah, well... I've never heard the term yuppie in before well. in my life. Polite, to give you a compliment. Yeah, well, it's a bit too cheesy, you know? For a compliment, you can do better, I'm sure. Damn. Oh, don't do better, just He's don't pissed. touch me. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about a woman's physical properties in the workplace. Let's rub oil. Yeah, I could tell. I mean, your body's just so sexy, and I would definitely be just, you know, I'd like to rub oil all over it. And all, all of course, if we weren't working together. All mm -hmm. over then that body. Wanna, like, and how often do these thoughts come into your head? <laughs> um. Like, well, you cannot count to five. Well, it was quite a big number. It's quite a big oh, number. Yeah. So it hit double digits. In an hour, yeah. It's yeah. a bit creepy. Well, Jesus. Some Holy. say creepy, some say... I say creepy. Some also say creepy. Some yeah. say creepy, some also say no. creepy. Sorry, sorry for you. <laughs> oh my god, yes. This oh, is what creepy. we play this game for. Some say creepy, some also say creepy. Okay, we gotta go for the yuppie. The yuppie. Yummy! CrossFit? Come on, that's, that is just bullshit, that stuff. Yeah, it's for these, like, yuppie wannabe, you know, losers, to be honest. Now what sports are you into? I can tell none. None? By the way, fucking it. Fuck you. And wow. fuck this company. Oh, what? Fuck yourself. Here you go. Look, take my keyboard. Oh, Maybe do some squats with it. <laughs> okay. Here, take my keyboard. Away. Take my keyboard. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck this company. Take the keyboard. I've been meaning to start CrossFit. I'm not really into working out. I would like real sport. Real sports. Also, the I is not capitalized. Nice, nice. Let's start CrossFit, guys. CrossFit, yeah, I've been meaning to CrossFit? Yeah, it's some sort of working once, out thing. I just didn't like the place, so... Uh, oh, where do you go? Oh, just, just around the corner. Ah, oh, it's like a couple blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very convenient mm, from here. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Alright, well maybe I'll, I'll try that one uh, one day. If you don't mind me being in the same class. No, not at all, not at all. Hey, okay. okay. we're in the same class. Again, this is great because it's the kind this of innocuous great. conversation that can nicely Who's the lead best? to I'm something the best. outside of work, doing something together socially. Um, what do you do outside of work? Karen? Yes? I wanted to know, you know, you said you do CrossFit. Uh, what else? You go out drinking with friends and stuff for the weekend, but anything else you, you like to do? Well, nothing too exciting. I go to the movies, mm -hmm. I take pictures, I like photography, okay. also salsa. 
Salsa. Salsa. On the way. I, I did it a few times. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, were you any good? Uh, I got better, but really? I mean, you know, there's always the instructor guy. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. And then obviously not like that, but great, uh, great. better than when I started. I would never tell you can do salsa. That's well, great. great well, I think that as a compliment. Yes, the, it is a compliment. The guy, Let's he looked quite effeminate, to be honest. <laughs> he changed me. I don't know about your coach. But. And what do you do in your spare time? Um, well, I like... I like playing squash. All I right. told you I like photography. Squash. Sometimes some dance. A little bit of gym. But mm -hmm. also uh, climbing is cool. Oh, really? Climbing? Yeah. But not mountain climbing, you know, holding on with one hand. But like these artificial walls. Squash is yeah, back. Really cool. Interesting, interesting. So how long have you been doing this? I've done it in like eight, eight, nine times or something. Why? Are you, I always wanted to try. I mean, oh, I read so much yeah. about it and some of my friends are doing it, but I never had the guts to do it myself. Oh, it's not too scary. You always have someone supporting yeah? you and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I can't fall on my back and break my, I don't know, whatever, back. Only if they wanted what? to <laughs> look, cut the rope or something. But no, I, I'm joking. It is, it's very safe and it's really good. You should try. Mm. Which gym do you go to? Uh, well, there are a few different ones. If you go to the same one all the time, it's boring. Mm. So always mm. change it. But there's a good one for beginners. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you about it. I'll send you details. Please, or please, next please. time I go, I can even... You know, that would be you. great. That would be great. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Awesome. In the workplace, it's all about transitioning to personal stuff, but in a smooth way. So it's the right option. Well done. What are you looking at? This is um, design book, but this part is cars. You like cars? I love cars. Of course. Yeah. She loves um, cars, guys. Um, so yeah, look, they have the concept line. She got like a, a forward focus. We're adding wheels. Yeah, and yeah. We're adding. Other stuff, little aerial on top. Ford Focus. And then you have everything. Yeah, it's cool. it's <laughs> I was thinking of getting a Tesla. Oh, it's actually. my family yeah. car. Yeah. Well, you, you like uh, you into environment and stuff? I like um, electricity. Mm -hmm. Electricity? Good choice, good choice. I had many good reviews about it. Mm -hmm. What? Good reviews about like electricity? Invite her out with the gang to Shamrock again. I want your opinion on something. Do you think this qualifies as sexual harassment? <laughs> Whip out your dick. Yep. Listen, Karen, I know you know the rules really well because of all the legal whatever yeah, yeah. thing. thing hello, you Mr. Rock. Hello, if hello. I to show you something, uh, would it be sexual harassment? Uh, check it out. <gasps> What the fuck? What yeah, the fuck cool. is wrong with you? Stop you like it? it? Well, that's weird. I I was sure that was gonna work. Despicable creature. <laughs> uh, arrange to do one of the things she or you do outside work. Karen, actually, in uh, in the break, I just called the climbing club and. On uh, Saturday and Sunday, we could go at like four o'clock, and there's there's no people. Whipping there. out the day again. Those times. So, do you want to go? Great news! Yes, yes. I'm Which free. Day? I'm in any of those. Which All one right. is better for Let's you? Let's say Sunday. Sunday's good. Yeah? It's great. Yeah. All right. Just great. After church. You're joking. <laughs> oh no. You go to church. Triggered. Oh. oh well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Go there a lot, but anyway, climbing cool. Yeah, Sunday. yeah, I, I go to church. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, so you totally. smoothly bridge that gap between just <laughs> chilling in the office to arranging to do something outside socially. Perfect. Is this just me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. there's nothing like wrong with going to church, guys. It shows your by the way. Um, your figure well. All right, thank you. Yeah, I like it. You need to go to speak to Michelle. To book time off to go to the Mol Maldives with me. Playful, playful. What? Let's stay tonight after work and make a dirty movie. Make a dirty movie. Yes. <laughs> Listen, I've just had the best idea. Check this out. This place is actually this one's quite, not playful. You know, in pretty office. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And this desk, the height <laughs> off the ground, is perfect. So I've got an idea. We stick around after work. When everyone's gone, this this weirdo over here. When everyone leaves, uh, we stick around and we make a little movie. 
Um, there's this website. Let me show you. Officeworks.com. Oh, no. um, what the fuck is wrong? Officeworks.com. I don't know that website, and I'm going to guess it's a real thing. Don't go there. It might be viruses. Oh, he said office sluts. But the 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 the, the, the subtitles said office works or something. Let's go to HR. Listen, you've got to go right now over to Michelle's office in HR and you've got to tell her that you need holiday immediately. Where? Where 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 am I going? Well, I've just booked tickets to Mal to the Maldives and we're gonna right. go together. It's gonna to be super romantic. Just two of and, us? Yeah, of course. All That's included? It. Um, most, most included, most like included. breakfast most and dinner included? and in the middle you're just hungry, but it's okay because yeah, you can swim and yeah. all of that go stuff. Go on my yeah. way. All right, go on then. I'm on my way. <laughs> We'd be good, right? I wish. Cringe. I wish. Escape from this shithole. Anyway. No kidding. This is uh, from this future shit projection, hole. you know, getting to her to imagine doing romantic, interesting things with you. It's kind of playful, kind of funny, and it works well. I'm done for the day. Why, why don't you pack it in as well? Whew, you know what? That's the best thing I heard all day. Yeah? Well, I've got another. You've best been thing. playing Candy Crush oh, all day, why don't we girl. Get a drink on the way home? Right, you haven't let's even let's looked at your right, actual cool. work let's monitor. Let's do it. <laughs> Casanova. When someone's bored at work, you know, the humdrum stuff, I wonder what the it's a nice way to snap them out of it. A little bit of teasing, a little bit of playfulness. So Candy it's Crush a good choice. World Champion. She is the date's location. Whoa. Wait, are we dating Karen or is it somebody else? I thought we were going hiking or something. Let's go hiking. If a girl's active well, okay. and she shows an interest <laughs> in outdoor activities, that can be great. But apparently in this case, not. It wasn't the option to choose. Hundred percent speed run. No, that'd be skipping all the cutscenes. Coffee. Coffee's boring. You're boring. And, you know we love drinking, right? We want some alcohol. No. Otherwise, you know, how do you make a move if she's sober? Oh God. Plus, a lot harder to keep the conversation going in a coffee shop. Fine. Go to the bar then. Ideally, we want nighttime plus drinks, right? To make sure the date goes as well as possible. So the bar is the best option. Oh my. Hey. Hey. Good to see you too. Nice dress. How should you sit? Opposites. Um, take a seat. Thanks. No, no, no. You don't sit opposite. Reason is, <laughs> you can't touch her up. No, but seriously, what? it makes it a bit harder. When you're sitting side by side, you get to kind of take a break, look around the room. If there's an awkward silence, it's not so awkward. But and you can't like do like the spaghetti before, scene if you're tougher. side by side. You know, you like slurp the same noodle and then you like kiss and then bang bang. Come take a seat over here. Thank you. Perfect. So many people sit opposite each other on first dates and it gets really <laughs> awkward because Me is a you've got that romantic. eye contact the whole time. You run out of stuff to say, you feel super uncomfortable. But, 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 and the but, but, but worst the spaghetti. thing, you can't touch her up, right? So it's much better to sit side by side. So how have you been the past few days? What have you been doing? Uh, actually quite a lot. Mm. I went to the gym as usual. Oh yeah, it's this girl. And then did some work, but it's boring, right? I forgot what her name was. Yeah. And ah, last night I watched a movie. Okay, what movie? Uh, it was Seven with Brad Pitt, a nice one. Ah, yeah, it's good, right? It's kind of um, psychological serial killer, scary. Oh, so you've seen it? Yeah, yeah I like it, it is it's... very scary. I liked it very much. I think it's very smart. But it's a strange film for a girl. It's not like Sex in the City or like um, Sex Finding in Nemo the City. Finding Nemo. Nemo. Yeah, it is. I've but seen I like that. Tough films. Mm -hmm. So you watch horror make... movies and things like that? 
Yeah, I do. I do quite often. I think they make you think and... He orders Italian food. Like not, what if there's loads of blood and people dying? You can watch it or you kind of cover your eyes and stuff. Not like that. I wouldn't watch the saw or something like that because it's stupid, I think. Mm. But this one is very smart. You should know if you watch it. Yeah, it is very smart. You're always thinking about, you know, how they can catch him and stuff. So yeah, exactly. Cool. exactly. All right. What else have you got going on? Actually, I'm moving house at the moment and all it's right. very, very difficult and annoying because there are all those boxes I have to move and all my stuff. You have to pack things There's up. There's legs behind oh, him on the wall. It oh, it's have so you seen difficult. Little Nemo? Yeah, this, this no, I have not. I've only seen Finding Nemo. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Use it as a reason to check her muscles. I think the main thing you're going to need is some muscles. So let me check your biceps. Show me what you've got here. Flex it. Come on. See the Arnie move? Yeah, she has some like massive feet, muscles, it? guys. <laughs> no, it isn't. I'm strong. Hmm, maybe. I remember I worked actually for a few days. Did you see how big her muscles were? Like oh. Just, yeah, carrying all the stuff. <laughs> really? Did you like it? Uh, it was very physical and actually I did. Yeah, I think it's good for fitness and stuff. So maybe you'll okay, enjoy bye, it. Okay, bye, Barry. <laughs> Hopefully I will. <laughs> nice one. You didn't fall for the what? trap, was actually... which is to always offer what? loads of help uh, to girls that you want to sleep with. You want to resist that as much as possible. And here you've turned it around and actually used it as a way to uh, get a little bit physical and playful. Well done. Here is a present for you. I know you're busy now with the house and stuff. But Thank you, you for the 100 bits, Kelly. Yeah, of course I do sports. This game well, is course. amazing. <laughs> it's my main hobby, going to the gym, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I like it very much. What do you do there? I do a lot of different things, actually. Mm -hmm. The main one is doing weights, usual mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. And I also do one hour stretching a week. Yeah. It's very, very painful, but very rewarding as well. For flexibility. Yeah, so you I want like to be it. able to do splits or, yeah, that's or my kick, goal. kick people in their heads. Like <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, so, and also I do Pilates sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's interesting as well. How come night students get five you? times a week? Canon, we're changing uh, yeah, that soon. I've done lots of sports. I used to do boxing, used to play squash. Um, I always try and do something physical, and at the moment I just do normal gym. And thank you, Barry. I'm, I'm really huge, happy to I don't do hear that. And shakes and all this stuff. So <laughs> That's good. Just good. go to the gym, and I'm doing things for like endurance, you know, to be, to be, Stop. have good fitness and, yeah, and whatever. And what else do you do apart from physical stuff? Apart from physical stuff, I like reading. Mm -hmm. Actually, I read every day, and it's very, very interesting. Oh uh, yeah, what what are you reading now, or what's the last book you read? I've just finished uh, Bulgakov's Master and Margarita. You added so Kelly's the game. game. Oh, you Kelly requests the game. You read it again? So. Yeah, I like it very much. Ah, uh, Tank Dating Simulator. Yeah, that's nice because it's classic literature, not okay, like you know, okay. Harry Potter and the yeah. Code and the girl with the dragon tattoo and all this. Stuff. Sorry, I missed so you that. like reading as well? Uh, yeah, and I like reading um, not just fiction, but if I read fiction, I like classics. But okay. I like reading sometimes Where's psychology, my choices? business, biography. This is just, this is just a movie at this point. Stuff. Yeah, that's Give interesting. Some choices. I like psychology as well and biographies mm. of famous people. That's good. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Cool. And tell me, do you do anything uh, creative or, I don't know, like singing, dancing, <laughs> playing the violin, whatever? Uh, actually, I'm absolutely useless at singing. You can't sing? Can't do that oh. and don't like it. I was going to ask you to sing for me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> maybe we we'll get your so lessons sorry. and you can sing for me. It's me, I that can't can sing either. Interesting. Maybe, maybe one day. Mm -hmm. And I can't play any musical None instruments. None of them. Well, no. Even this xylophone things. thing or the... <laughs> maybe. Do you know this triangle, that one you just... <laughs> yeah. can do that, them. I think, because that's easy. And the creative thing I do is actually painting. Okay. <laughs> Try to get to the bottom of how it makes her feel. Say that she can paint you nude if she wants. Yes. Yes. Mm, painting, eh? Well, listen, I'm very comfortable uh, with myself. So if you ever want to paint someone nude, then just what? let me know. I'm sorry, what? Really? 
Yeah, you know, like uh, lying on a couch. Lumberjack waiter. Some fruit and <laughs> things like that. I think it would be nice, no? Uh, that's not something I would paint. I think it's really weird. You can do it without the fruit. <laughs> really? No, <laughs> I don't paint that. Yeah, the fruit is definitely uh, a problem. You don't paint people or make it <laughs> Definitely people. the problem. Actually, I try not to paint people at all. Oh, okay. Especially Animals, nude. Or what do you paint? Yeah, yeah, I like, okay. for example, beautiful scenery. Ah, like or, landscapes. Yeah, something oh, from my Bob imagination. Rush. Something that helps to express emotions, you know. Okay, very nice. A little bit How too early to be sexual. How is this an okay answer? And a little bit um, too early not to be connecting with her, right? So you found out one of her passions could be a really rich conversational subject. You've skipped over it and turned it silly and turned it kind of weird. So That's not, not an okay answer. Let's not leave this sitting here. Yeah, have a drink. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you Cheers. much. <laughs> Yummy. So tell me, how about um, traveling? Do you travel? Oh yes, I do. And um, what do you normally do? Do cities or adventure holidays? Uh, actually, I like I like both. I like cities and I went to many places in Europe, for example, Prague and mm. Berlin and Rome. Rome is amazing. So Very I like that. There, yeah. yeah, of course, Europe is beautiful. And I also went to some exotic places like uh, Lebanon, for example. Lebanon? Yeah, it's it was, not dangerous there. It was quite scary because I thought it was dangerous, but probably it wasn't at the moment. It was fun because I like to see different things. She's and, such a traveler. You know, different cultures and whatever. But yeah. Rome is very touristy, right? Yeah, all and, these crowds, you're And right. then Lebanon is probably not very touristy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Very different. So you like you different, see the contrast. different kinds of things. Not yeah, always. Wine was his first mistake. Octopath traveler. Those people are different. Some yeah. like to go to, uh, for example, Spain every year to the same oh, place. Really? Uh, only speak English, they don't know any Spanish. That's quite boring. Yeah, and then some people like just going somewhere super exotic where there are no tourists. I'm, I'm more like the second type, I don't like tourists. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> if I go somewhere and the other English people are like, oh no, you know, I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Oh really? So you don't like English people? Um, when I'm traveling somewhere... He doesn't like English by, people, you know, but he's people English. ...from your country, you don't feel like you're traveling. And oh, if yeah. everything's in English, you don't feel like you're traveling. So. I like to go somewhere and only meet locals, to go to the local place. Like in, you would have seen it in Rome. You can go to some restaurants where it's all just Americans. Yeah, just tourists all yeah. around. Or no you can good. go to a restaurant if you're lucky and you're like, oh, I'm sitting with Italians. I must Sounds be in the right about place. right, not to be the, honest. Not the tourist Yeah, maybe you're right, actually. I should try that. Yeah. And tell me, what's the... like? The, Welcome back, know, Sahara, right, or Sahara Ice. Sahara Ice. Sorry. Something that I really liked, yeah? yeah? Recently I went to Cuba and it was amazing. I really, really liked it. Cuba. Disagree and say it's not a cool place. Impress her with the fact that you have been to the Caribbean many times. The Carib Bean. I mean... We're super impressive, right? Let's impress her. Oh, Cuba, yeah, of course. Um, Caribbean, uh, what else is there? Belize, Cayman Islands, Grand Cayman, Little Cayman. Been many Grand times. Cayman, uh, Little Jamaica, Cayman. Jamaica, all over Jamaica. Of course, it's great, all those beaches and things. And if, yeah. if you like islands, then uh, where else is good? Fiji, <laughs> very nice. Right. Uh, she's just like, in stop Indian talking. Ocean, got, Shut uh, up. Mauritius, Seychelles, Maldives. Okay. And there are many, many Pirate times, of the you know, Caribbean. I want to relax and just, uh, you know, stay in a fantastic hotel, eat amazing food, um, chill by the beach, you know, reading a book. So, yeah, nice. Um, Cuba's cool, but the other one's much better, you know. There's about maybe 25 or 30 really? islands that are better than Cuba. But it's good, good that, you, that you travel. When a girl is happy about something, get her to talk about it first. Get <laughs> Apparently out all that those was an okay emotions, answer as well. connect on it. And then if she asks you, you can always show off, right? If you really have to. If you just cut her off and go on your own tack, then it's very bad. She's going to shut down and not be as responsive from there on. And what about she doesn't you? seem Do very interested. 
Yeah, I oh, like she's travel. asking if I, I like traveling, like even though I, I just did, ranted I about younger, traveling. I'll go away for months at a time and just yeah. go to different countries and, um, you know, come back home and then two weeks later go away again. Mm. Um, now I'm more settled and I like spending time at home, but I would say like every month I like to go somewhere. And I spend a lot of time in Barcelona. I've got a nice place there. It's Barcelona. Sea, and oh. have it all, you know, nicely set up with big television and playstation and stuff so it's really cool playstation oh, really playstation uh, 5 PlayStation, yeah uh you play often mm. is she a gamer yeah, girl kind of. oh really i think games <gasps> are a waste of time don't you think so i can't believe what i'm hearing right now that's it that's it I suppose you don't do anything that wastes time. We're done here. We're done here, guys. Leave. <laughs> it's time to quit. She's anti-gamer. Anti-gamer. Let's get defensive. What? What's wrong with it? I want to play a game sometimes. Fine. Really? Yeah, why not? I don't think that it's okay to sit in front of the TV all the time with the controller. Not all the time, sometimes. And of course you need a controller to play the game and the television. <laughs> but you're telling me you don't do anything that wastes time? Um, She's not, not the one. Like that. No. Other things that waste time in worse ways, probably. Yeah? No, in better ways. So, yeah, I don't like games at all, So if really. I spied on you for 24 hours, I wouldn't see you on Instagram reading a Cosmopolitan magazine no, and all this stuff? definitely not. No? You'd be like studying Shakespeare, going to the gym, and then yeah, know, reading of course, another she's book, perfect. and reading another book, and reading another book. Probably I do something, but games, I really know that if you start, then you just can't quit and you're sitting there for hours and you think that it's one minute. No. Does it oh, no, she's thinking games really? are addictive mm -hmm. like okay. drugs. Remember the golden rule. When you're what? challenged, don't react with anger. Don't react by being aggressive towards them. Be cool with it. And what about, what about you? Do you have any like uh, guilty pleasures or some really dumb oh. TV shows, like reality stuff or something? Mm, Mission well, failed. Definitely this not is TV awful. shows, because I mm. never watch TV actually. Never? Never. I don't like it. You don't have a television? Only movies. Oh, I movies. have television, but oh, okay. only for movies and stuff. And I need to tell you that one guilty pleasure I used to have mm. was smoking, actually. Oh. But I managed oh to. Oh my get god. Up. Are you sure you're not going to start again? No, now I'm. If I had a cigarette now and say, come on, <laughs> no, smoke. No, thank you. <laughs> no, I gave up, so That's no good. more. And oh. I think nothing else, basically. Oh, what right. about so she you? complains about games, but she used to smoke. I've never tried a cigarette. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I smoke she other says things, games are unhealthy and addicting, but she smokes. Okay. It's strange, right? Yeah, that's funny. And in general, no, I think I'm quite, um, nothing too bad, you know, not a crazy alcoholic or addicted to anything <laughs> that good. I shouldn't be addicted to. So, no, it's not too bad. And let me ask something that's a little bit, um, for me, it's interesting, right? So indulge me here. Okay, uh, what are your bad habits? Like, what are some bad qualities? Ah, like that. I think I can't really trust people well, so sometimes... Well, you know you can trust me. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I can seem a little yeah, bit... Yeah, we know each other for like, with you know, I don't know. a day. Oh. You can trust me. So maybe that's a bad point about mm. me. Um, also, um crazy about being on time everywhere so sometimes I'm oh. panicking when I'm running late and can be really angry or something like that. That might be a problem. Really? Why? Yeah. You're always late. I'm never late but I arrive, tell me that. I arrive like three seconds before. Before? <laughs> always You're before. Sure not what? Uh, I'm late if it doesn't matter but if it matters like a flight or a train or a uh, when people are waiting I'm not late but if it doesn't really matter if we kind of say you can oh, trust around me, that baby. Time, then I wouldn't. And getting to the airport, yeah, not hours before. Hate it. So that might be a problem. Uh, yeah, that might be a problem actually. Because I like to come in advance. Don't know what to do now. <laughs> I can try it your way. Because actually, I end up wasting hours. 
just well, sitting there and if waiting. If in the future, right, this is our first date, but if in the future <laughs> we go somewhere, okay. you can just go to the airport like five hours before, <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> and meet you there. And I'll just come, yeah, I'll just come later and meet you on the plane. <laughs> okay, that sounds funny. <laughs> All right. Yawn and put your arm around her. Oh my god, classic. Use the gypsy fortune teller routine to touch her ear. Check her pulse. Palm reading. What is the gypsy fortune teller routine? Put your hand on her leg. Let's just be forceful and put her hand right on there. Right on that mm, thigh. I need to figure out a way to touch her now. Oh, awesome. yeah. Could you please remove that? Remove this, my hand? Uh-huh. Why? Too soon? Yeah, I don't know. didn't like it. All right. Well, tell me when you're ready. Give me a sign. You can, I don't know, do this and this and this. It means, <laughs> it means you're ready or something. Right? <laughs> Cringe. Yeah, well. But don't leave it too long. <laughs> that could have been cool, but you drew too much attention to it. So when you do touch her, it should be quite innocuous. There's a coin behind your ear. Yeah, let's, let's see what it is. And tell me, do you believe okay. in fortune tellers and you know, horoscopes telling the future? Oh, and well, not really. Me too. I thought it was complete rubbish. Yeah. But yes, but one time I went to the seaside in England and there was, there was this sign that said the gypsy fortune teller come in and you know, I thought, why not? I'm going to try it. Really? She came in. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what happened. First thing, I came in and she took my hands and she looked at him. Whoa, and said, whoa. No, that's not it. And threw whoa. my hands down like that. <laughs> and then she said, with you, I need something different. And she came like this and she touched my ear, looked into my eyes. And this she is told me so that by the no. bumps on the back of the ear, really? yeah, she could tell me about my past life. Oh, yeah. Do you well, want to know about my past life? Mm, okay. <laughs> so she said that I was a knight and that I was brave and whatever, told me some details. But she said that I died when I was tarred and feathered. Do you know what that is? When they pour that oh, yeah. um, stuff um, on you and then feathers and then set you on fire. Very bad. So pretty bad. Very you know, bad. It's tough to die right. like that today. But the amazing thing is, even now, um, and since, since as long as I was, I remember when I was a child, I hate this smell of uh, tar when they're making the, you know, the new rose or something yeah. like that. Oh, that's pretty so weird. I think there's something in it, so maybe hmm. I believe it. Maybe. I don't know maybe. about that. Maybe. <laughs> sounds funny. This is a classic PUA pickup artist routine from uh, Bexter and it works you know, to an extent, but again, it's a routine. So you can prepare all this stuff for when you go out and meet girls, but it's much better to develop your natural conversation and seduction skills, which is why you're here, right? But still, I hope you enjoyed it and you could use it, or you could even use it just for fun, even telling them what it is. Did you like going out to bars, partying? Achievement and luck. Actually, no, I don't All really like PUA it. All PUA moves, yes, apparently. Um, people are just drinking there, and I don't mm -hmm. really like to drink. Like us? <laughs> no. You don't like to drink? Cheers. No, they, <laughs> cheers they just that. cheers. I think they just drink. We did all the PUA moves, guys. That means we're like an artist and pick up, and picking up yeah, things. Yeah, all this. Hard I don't drinking. really like that. Yeah, but sometimes I go with my friends when they make me go, basically. Mm. Do you like yes. dancing? Can you dance? I really can dance when I feel like dancing, but it doesn't happen often. That's why I don't go. So, do I believe you? Yeah. So, if you were, if I caught you in the club you wouldn't be dancing on the bar or the table <laughs> no nothing like that never your controls yeah i'm okay. very very self-controlled but you're single you're controlled you like going to bars to meet men mm, really i don't think it's a perfect place to meet someone nice what do you do then internet uh no internet i don't believe in that I okay. think that it's better just to live your life, to work and go to the parks, wherever you go and then one day you will... This girl hates technology. It's so romantic. So you believe in fate. Yeah, I, I do. So you're single at the moment, right? Yes, you I haven't am. got secret lovers and husbands <laughs> all around the world or no. something? No. Okay. And how is it? Because I know some girls, they, they're never single. They just have relationships, split up into the next one. Mm, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe. I quite like it. I think it's better to be single than with with someone you don't like. She doesn't believe like in the internet. That's why I really enjoyed that. I have a lot of free time to mm. develop my personality and to uh, do something, read and do more work. So I like it. What's your longest relationship? Um, it was about a year. A year? I once met a girl who said two weeks to that question. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Amazing, don't you think right? so? Yeah, very strange. <laughs> what about you? Uh, my longest was my first relationship two and a half years. Oh, that's quite long. Yeah. But how mm. long have you been single this time? Uh, it's about three months now. Three months? It's not real. We never landed on the moon asking, and the earth and is you flat. Don't have to answer if you don't want to, but why did you break God's up with green your last man? Oh. Actually, we broke up because he was useless in bed. Uh, oh, oh. Desexualize the moment. <laughs> no, we want to get in there. First date, first fuck. Make a joke about how you just need three to five minutes. Yeah, that's how long he lasts. <laughs> how convenient. Hmm. I'll tell you what we can do about that. Bear with me for a second. One evening, come round, because I want to show you some stuff anyway. I've got an okay. aquarium, whatever, you're going to love it. But anyway, come round and we'll pick some, I've got candles, you know, these aroma, aroma candles, whatever. Right. And very nice music. <laughs> so think of a track you really like, okay. maybe something like The Weeknd. We'll put that on maybe. and give me like the three weekend. to five minutes. To show you what I can do, you'll love it. <laughs> and it doesn't take long, that's the benefit. It's a joke, right? <laughs> mm, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay. From time to time, girls that that was the best answer. It didn't really like seem this, and that you need great, to though. be able to respond in the right way. One of the options is to be um, playfully tongue in cheek about it, but in a way that shows confidence. So that that will work. <laughs> Can I have a good night kiss? Mommy, can I have a good night kiss? Well, it looks like the taxi's here, but it was oh, kind of a lovely, lovely evening. And, um, Not really. Okay, but how about a good night kiss before you <laughs> no, go? No, you're choking. It's been a lovely a evening. A no, not really. Dead fish. Yeah. Oh my god. Is that bad? I. Uh, yeah. This girl. Well, you did get to the end, so well done, but um, you made a lot of wrong choices there, so you didn't even get the number. You'll probably never see her again. You're going to be alone. So, well, uh, so she... Sorry. I'm sorry. She doesn't believe in the internet, so I don't even think she's worth my time anyway. Oh, it looks like the taxi's already here, but oh. um, it was... Wonderful spending time with you, and we should do this again sometime soon. Yeah, I think so. I liked it. All right, great. What? I think there's something uh, interesting to do. We can go, I don't know, play some sport or something like that. Yeah? I would love to. Great. Okay, you will great. message me then. Yeah, sure. Great. Well, that's completely different from before. All right, that's the right option. Oh, thanks. Average Joe. Ideally, we want nighttime plus drinks, right? To make sure the date goes as well as well, possible. Well, that was the last so level, the bar by the way. Is the best option. Congratulations, you made it. You got all the way to the end and completed all 10 levels. Now, there is an even better ending if you go through and you complete them all with five star ratings plus get 50% completion, but it will be worth your while, so I suggest you go and do it. As a reward for completing the game, I'm going to give you a few secrets in the making of it. Now, did you notice this? That there's um, a scene with a girl called Alexa, and there's another one called Jenna. We're talking about the club dance floor and the girl on the street and also Thursday. Did you notice yes. that that's actually the same girl? That's actress Shanna Vincent. Whoa. Uh, something else in the game is that in the friend to girlfriend level, uh, Lilia, the girl in it, is actually my friend. Uh, she's my friend since 2012. And so a lot of the stuff in that level is true, like her going on to a design course. Finally, maybe most shocking is that the girl Kate is actually my wife. Of, what? Um, I don't know, about six months ago. So you didn't know that. And that's you, like you wiped the non-believer of the internet? A little bit further. 
and get the best possible ending, then I've got an even better surprise for you. So maybe go ahead and do that. But again, thank you so much for playing and I hope you really love the game. Maybe she was just playing a character. His wife isn't the one. Oh my god. Oh my god. So there's like a bunch of extras you can unlock and stuff. Which obviously we didn't unlock anything. Apparently. Oh wait, no, we unlocked some of this stuff, I think. Get a perfect run? I don't think I got a perfect run, but apparently it's unlocked. Why is he like in a room that's like all white and he's like dressed in white? What, what, what's up with that? Didn't see that one coming, boss. We need the surprise. No. It was surprisingly fun. Yeah, the game is actually pretty... Like, it's it's one of those, like, so bad, it's good things. Like, it's really cringy, but it's a good time at the same time. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, there was a little... There, I feel like there was more cringe yesterday, Tim, than today. But, you know. Anyways. I mean, it was fun. I hope you're satisfied, Arthur. It was a good time. And maybe we'll be playing Super Seducer 2 sometime maybe but um for next time in the morning stream tomorrow morning i guess we'll be playing um the mask of deception game which is like a apparently it's like an rpg but also a visual novel i think i think that's what i said on steam something like that i don't know i've never played it so it'll be it'll be interesting we'll be playing that tomorrow morning we'll also be playing ratchet and clank 3 tonight if you're interested in that otherwise thank you so much for hanging out guys super Zuzu, super seducer it was pretty pretty fun pretty fun actually surprisingly fun have a good day i'll see you later and bye bye now i'm even more charming